Hello. 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 <laughs> hello. Hello, all my little worms. Hello. Apologies for being late. <laughs> I was on a customer service phone call, so... <sighs> you know how it goes. But hello. Hello, all my beautiful worm burgers. I have so much news for you so obviously you know the plan for today we're going to be leveling the island we're going to be i mean probably we're going to be getting the whatchamacallits the little land and water design thingies um was the customer satisfied with their worm service yes i was very satisfied actually yes but we're going to be getting the water and land things. We're going to be completely leveling the island and then putting dirt on the entirety of it. Because if you haven't been here for when we were deciding like the whole theme of everything, we're going for like a uh, worm. It's a worm island. But basically we're going for like dirt levels. So we're going to have the whole first level is going to be entirely dirt. And then we're going to make the second level like on the cliffs be like the above ground, you know? So it's going to be ambitious, but it's going to be really, really fun. And oh my God, there's so much news actually that I have to tell you. Um, I had to take a thumbnail photo. So a couple of things happened. First of all, uh, KK Slider did a concert and it was beautiful and amazing. And now he's playing here every Saturday. You already kind of know this. Uh, also, there's ordinances in the town. So if you have like an ordinance that you want to request, we could do that as well. Also, the Cap'n tours are open. Also, while I was taking a thumbnail photo yesterday, Maddie wanted to move off the island. And I know that we were all, we did not want Maddie here that much. So I said, go, go on ahead. I said, all right, goodbye. Um, which means that our next stream is going to be another villager hunt. So we're going to have to decide today before the end of the stream, which villager we want to be hunting. And yeah, I think that's everything. That's the lowdown. Yes, that's everything. Okay, so lots of cool stuff. I'm going to start by going and getting the little designer thingies. What are they called even? The island planner things, you know? <laughs> it's gonna be great. I'm so excited. Wart under that tree. I know. Wart is so cute. I actually freaking love Wart. Oh, what a guy. But yes, it's, this is so exciting. And somehow we have like a million nook miles, so we don't even have to grind for anything. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Okay, so to start us off, we will get the waterscaping permit. We have just enough money. Oh my. <laughs> These are some expensive apps. Good lord. And Kirsty, thank you so much for being a member for nine months. I very much appreciate that. Um, humbly requesting a garden slash farm on the above ground because worms help compost. That's such a good idea. Yes, yes, yes. I accept the challenge. That is fantastic. Thank you so much. I think a garden would be actually so cute. And yeah, we're going to have like compost bins galore. We're going to have a lot of stuff. It's going to be fun. I'm very excited. And I also think that because like... I don't know. We're a bit we're a bit more lenient with like time traveling and doing things in a bit of a different way than how I do my um other island. We it's going to like go a little bit faster, which is nice because on the other island when we have to do a villager hunt, we have to like wait the actual time and it's just it's a whole thing. But this time, I just went on to do a thumbnail and Maddie was like, mm, "I want to leave." So, good. <laughs> how do you even get that many nook miles? I think that we've just been like can like doing things and then conveniently getting miles for it like we've been like chopping trees and then it's like nice job have some nook miles i'm like okay thanks and then i break the axe i was using and then it's like nice job have some nook miles kind of like the beginning of the game vibe where they're just handing them out to you like little pieces of candy you know <laughs> that's the vibe that's the vibe but yes oh and we also we've got to start the stream off by going and saying hello to our newest villager our newest worm worm wormager worm little worm worm where is she oh god okay this might be a little harder than i thought maybe we'll just stumble into her when we do <laughs> no idea where she is okay then i guess we'll just start putting the dirt down and leveling the land i don't even know so exciting and Laura, thank you so much for being a member for six months. I appreciate that. Thank you. 
How did, did you enjoy Wonka? Okay, here's my quick review on Wonka, no spoilers. I thought it was very fun and whimsical. I don't know if I'm convinced that Tim, Timothy Chalamet, Chalamet, I don't know how to say his name. I don't really know who he is. I don't know if I'm fully convinced that he's like got Wonka energy, but it was fun. So I just kind of like leaned into it and I thought that some of the songs were really, really good. Other songs, they could have not been there. But overall, I give it a 73 out of 100. <laughs> I thought it was fun. And that's what it's meant to be. Like, at first I was like, oh gosh, this is going to be awful. And then I like leaned into the childhood, like, cuteness of it. And I was like, no, I need to just appreciate this for what it is. <laughs> but yes. And K-Pants, thank you so much for the super chat. I very much appreciate it. Um, when is the next hardcore stream? I'm not 100% sure yet because i have to like plan out how i'm gonna fix our little like piece of poop boathouse thing because everybody made fun of me for it so now i'm like gosh i need to make it good um and yeah i'm also gonna be building a little stardew uh like barn gingerbread house this week on stream and it's gonna be so fun so you know there's a lot of there's a lot of other stuff going on but yes this is gonna be a very fun stream very fun and um, entertaining. Uh, I don't know. I thought it would be kind of fun to just have a stream where I just put dirt on the entire island and completely level it. You know? Oh. Oh, no. I think it, it'll be interesting. Also, this island is probably gonna lag so bad because I have, uh, like, I don't know. I have dirt paths on the farm part of my other island and even just in that little corner of the island, it makes it lag really, really bad. So I can't imagine what's going to happen when we put them all over. It's okay. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> and yes, we do need to change our hair to pink eventually. I don't, I don't really have any Nook Miles to buy the hair stuff right now. But that is a priority. I think I'm just so excited about this idea of like the worm like the levels i think that's such a good idea so i i just wanted to get into it you know dirt makes lag weird yeah no basically i think that the more paths you have down that causes a lot of lag or also um like wheat fields cause an incredible amount of lag in this game so it might have been the wheat fields also i don't really know but I just don't want it to lag. I just want to be a little worm and I want to be moving at the correct frames per second. <laughs> but here we go. Isn't this just lovely? Oh my, especially when you accidentally do that and then you have to fix it. Ugh. This is the kind of, this is the kind of stuff that I do off stream usually, but I was like, I can't, I, we're putting dirt down. All the worms need to be in attendance. <laughs> oh my freaking. And action frog thank you so much for the super chat as well i very much appreciate it as usual um i was traumatized from charlie and the char Choc charlie and the chocolate factory is a small child it's a horrifying movie i will say i was watching like clips of the gene wilder movie after this and i really i really want to rewatch that one and i've never seen the johnny depp one because i'm like scared uh of it <laughs> But I really want to watch them now that I've watched the other Wonka. And yeah, it's a very horrifying movie and premise. <laughs> it is like the Hunger Games, but with chocolate, kind of. Where he just invites a bunch of kids and then gets rid of them in increasingly more creative ways. Which is frightening. But it's okay. <laughs> okay, so look at this! I already did a little bit of this for the thumbnail, but this little corner is already dirtified you know oh freaking gosh it's not gonna take the longest time ever i just think okay i need your opinion of course with the polls um let's see start a poll i'm gonna say what should we do and then the options will be uh get rid of all cliffs and then put and then put them down like where we want or keep cliffs just work with it those are the options because i'm kind of thinking that i it would be very fun or not fun but like interesting and fun to level everything and get rid of all the cliffs and then put them down like exactly where we want to 
It would just add a little bit more, like, customization, you know? But also, I totally get being, like, emotional and uh, attached to the cliffs. So whatever you guys think, I will do. I will keep that up for a while as I put dirt on the ground. <laughs> oh, goodness. But yeah, I hope you've all been well. I'm so sorry. Yesterday... <laughs> I literally made plans to see the Wonka movie and then I totally forgot about it. So I had nothing prepared except a single short. So I was like, okay, awesome. That's the post for today. <laughs> so yes, but it's okay. It's okay because we're here now. What if we made a big bowl with the cliffs? Like a bowl, like a, like a bowl. Hmm. A bowl. I think, like, it would be interesting, yeah, like, to have the island enclosed. That would be very interesting. I'm not sure how that would work, though. I do think that I want to enclose, at the very least, Marina's build, because Marina is kind of like our ultimate Omega Worm villager. So I think that that would be... Like, that would make the most sense, but I don't know. And Marina was the villager I was talking about. <laughs> I really want to find Marina so that we can officially give her the welcome to Isla de Worm, but I have not seen her a single time. She's oot a boot doing her little worm stuff, you know? What if you made cliffs all around the edge of the island? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That would be kind of cool. Maybe. Or that would be horrible. I don't know. Oh, goodness. Like, do I put... Like, I guess... Also tied in with, like, if you think I should get rid of all the cliffs, I'll probably fill in the rivers, too. And then just we can add our own later, you know? Why are you placing dirt? Because we're worms and we need the dirt. <laughs> That's kind of the point of the stream in my head, is to just place dirt literally everywhere. So, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much that's how it's going. Have you thought of doing the ground level as snaking alleys? Yeah, that's like kind of what we're thinking is having like, I don't know, little pockets of dirt land. But then, I don't know, like I, I kind of love the idea of like having the gr underground and then the above ground and they both kind of make sense and like work in their own way, but then mix together as well, if that makes sense. Don't worms drown in water? Do they? I don't know. Maybe water is just a no-go? Oh, that's a fantastic question. Okay, so 62% of people say get rid of all the cliffs. And I kind of agree. I think that would be fun. I'm gonna start I'm gonna start a new poll and say, what do we do with the water? And then we'll put keep it slash change it up or get rid uh get rid of it entirely. Yes. So what do you think? What do you think we should do with the water? I don't really know. I think water's fine. Mm. They're always coming out when it rains. That's true. Worms do like the rain, maybe? Oh, no, it's because they're like dying underground. Okay, they, yeah, that makes sense. I don't really know much about worms. I feel like because I like am a biology student, everybody expects me to know everything about every like animal possible. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know anything about worms. Are you kidding? Except like worm locomotion. I'm like oddly knowledgeable about. But otherwise, I don't freaking know. And like classification, just the stuff that they teach you. <laughs> okay, 78% of people say keep it slash change it up. So I suppose we won't be getting rid of all the water, which is, you know, good. And yeah, the waterfalls do have like a very cute, nice background sound. I agree. I do like the waterfalls. Yeah, I'm thinking we'll have to have a stream where we do just like, it's just like your island planning. Like we just kind of, I don't even know, bring up like a, a, a document and draw on it. Just a Photoshop document and just vote on like where we should put all the different uh, like buildings kind of like the able sisters and nooks where all the villager stuff should go like which district would would be the the compost district and which one you know like it just kind of planning all that stuff out and even where we're gonna put the water i think 
because to be fair everybody keeps saying make the water like a worm and it's like well like it kind of is like a worm i guess just to have a river but yeah and yeah put squeakoids yeah if we had like little gyroids that could be kind of cute we could find the most wormy gyroid and then just like send it and put them everywhere <laughs> that would be interesting Thin, wiggly rivers would be fun. That's true. These rivers are very large. Maybe... Oh, that's a great idea. Instead of getting rid of them entirely, we can all just make them, like, one block wide so that we just have really, like, thin, wormy rivers, you know? That's a great idea. I think that's fantastic. Here, let me... Okay, let's just test out this theory and see if it works because I'm a little excited about it. So if we do one. Oh, oh, excuse me. Oh, Wormburger, you've got to you've got to help me out here. OK, so put this like that. And we could even like keep the waterfalls if we wanted and have it go longer than the actual river is. That could be kind of interesting, but like this i think this is the thinnest we can make the river and then what does that look like on the map hmm yeah that looks kind of wormy i think that's interesting i kind of like this idea okay we're going with very thin rivers <laughs> it can go thinner it can It can! Oh, that's it. That's it, baby! That's so worm. Oh my gosh. Yes. And then we wouldn't even have to use the vaulting pole to get anywhere. We could just jump. I am so into this idea. I can't even express. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my. Oh, this is great. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's so wormy. OMG. It's so nice. Isn't that too thin? Yeah. Well, we can't fish in it, but like, why would we fish? Because we're a worm, you know? We don't endorse fishing. <laughs> Unless we absolutely have to. This is so worm core. It is. It literally is. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Just like thinner rivers is all it takes to make me just so happy no 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 awful yes okay okay that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a project we'll have to work on as well but i think for today i just want to kind of level everything out and add dirt to it that's my whole goal so you know it's gonna be good how do you get the angle is it too thin for angles i don't i was wondering how to get it here but i think i'll just like I don't know. I'll freestyle it. I'll freestyle it. <laughs> but, okay. This is good. This is good. This is good. Let's get back to, to dirtifying everything. And we'll do the worm rivers maybe in the next one or the stream after next. Because, you, like I said, next time we're going to be going on a villager hunt. And we do have to go see the house or go say goodbye to Maddie today. Because I think that she's moving out today. I sent her off tomorrow, so... Oh my god. <laughs> and Meadow, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh my gosh. That is actually so generous of you. I don't know what big lemon means, but I do appreciate that. <laughs> thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Was that a kangaroo person? Yeah, we have a kangaroo. Sylvia. Oh, Maddie. Who's Maddie? Maddie's the dog. Uh, we had Maddie. The other villagers that we have... I'll just go over it very quickly. So, we have Sylvia, Ed, Buck, who we hate, Frank, Nate, Maddie's the one that's moving away, we're keeping Piper to make a, a point, and then we have Marina, Wart Jr., and then Diana, who you can't see their faces because I'm covering it, but it's okay. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> okay. 
This is going so well. This is going better than I ever imagined. Thank you for being here also for the most boring stream of all time where I'm literally just covering the iron island in dirt. <laughs> really appreciate that. Oh, this is so good. Okay, hop over here. I wish it would go to the edge of the of the path of like the little path area. Annoying. And Mela, thank you so much for the super chat. I have a joke for you. What's pink? And we'll send you to another dimension. A wormhole? That's a good one. That is a good one. I love... I love how, like... Why? Why is it called a wormhole? <laughs> like, somebody please explain that to me. I can't believe that that's even a joke you can make. Why is it called a wormhole? The, why? I don't get it. Uh, worms still need grass to eat, so some grass is good. That's true. This is true. That'll be for us to eat. <laughs> that little edge. Um, something that I realized is not great. Well, I have $73,000, but I, I got- we got rid of all the fruit trees because we were so, like, decided on wanting only apple trees. Um... So now if we want to, like, pick up whole trees to move them while we're putting the dirt down, we're either going to need to chop them down with an axe, which we ha we don't have. Or we're going to have to use our very, very limited stock of pumpkins, or we'll have to buy pears. So, uh, that's... We didn't think that through, for sure. Before we eradicated the whole pear species from our island. <laughs> Definitely should have given that a second thought, but fine oh goodness and kj thank you so much for gifting a membership oh my goodness you are too kind and welcome blakey to springdom as well thank you oh, gosh this is so fun before the pear apocalypse <laughs> indeed indeed i think well they do sell pears i just don't know how much they are they're probably like a couple hundred and we also have to pick up all of this stuff that we put down just for the three-star rating. <sighs> it's going to be a time. But it's going to be a good time. <laughs> Let me see. It's kind of like those videos of people... Did I? No. It's kind of like those videos where people are like watching paint dry for 10 hours. And you kind of... The intrigue is like, why would... Why would I watch somebody watch paint dry? That's so boring. It's like that. Watching me place dirt for three hours. <laughs> but it's going to be fun. And Brianna, thank you so much for gifting five memberships. Oh my gosh. You are too kind. Thank you. And welcome to all the new little sprigs. Welcome to Sprigdom. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. I actually used all of the pumpkins when I was making the thumbnail yesterday. I used all the pumpkins, so now we have to go buy pears. Idiot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, we gotta go buy some pears because we have to get rid of all the trees. And when I say all the trees, I mean all the trees. We need to put dirt everywhere. I only want apple trees or like spruce trees or something too. But maybe we don't have to do it right now, but, you know, in, in all time, we will get rid of all the trees if we don't need them. All right. Hello, everybody. Let me know if you, there's anything you, that piques your interest that you want me to buy. I'm just going to get... Oh, my gosh. 400? That's kind of a lot. <laughs> and Amy, thank you so much for gifting a membership as well. Oh my gosh, thank you. You guys are too kind. I very much appreciate that. Oh, goodness. Oh, you. <laughs> All right. We could get worm-looking villagers, fruit-themed villagers, or villagers like Lucky because worms get into dead bodies as <laughs> well. This is true. This is very true. Um. Yes, we do have a list of villagers that we're kind of deciding on um, which ones we should get. I don't really know the best way to do a vote like in the chat for how to choose because we do have more than four. But I guess we could just choose four of the ones that we've kind of gone over and then do another one. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. So yeah, everybody's saying keep it up, keep the water, change it up. And we discovered the squiggly tiny water, which is great. 
Um, and I'm gonna do another poll. Um, which villager should we hunt for next stream? And we'll do Frida, who is the hamburger sheep. Um, Apples, Apples, I think, who's the little uh, chipmunk person, hamster. It's a hamster. And then Lucky, the because decomposition. And then also, I think we were saying like Drago or something, because somebody made a very good case for the fact that like a dragon is also called like a worm, but with a Y. And I thought that was very clever. So I'm just going to do those four for now. And like, yeah, we have like 10 villagers that we're going to have to eventually fill the slots for. So this is just some of the ones that we came up with. We'll start there, you know? <laughs> uh, let me see. I totally missed some stuff. And Meadow, thank you so much for the, the super chat again. What the heck? I very much appreciate it. Big pair. Yes. <laughs> Big pair. Except that we eradicated all the pairs so but i still don't know what that means but i i am so appreciative thank you <laughs> and Allie, thank you so much for being a member for seven months and oh my goodness i am so everybody's getting sick if i hope that you feel better Allie, and i hope if anybody's watching this and they feel sick that you feel better soon just that time of year i guess i don't i don't like this this whole sickness thing I'm not a fan oh my gosh 38 percent apples i didn't see that coming oh boy we also need to get rid of all these flowers which is so annoying we kind of made the decision all together in the previous streams that for the flowers we would only be using the pink um hydrangeas no the pink what are those even called they're like the oh my gosh this is so embarrassing my brain is just not working today. What are they? I th are they hydrangeas? They're like the really long pink wormy looking ones, you know? Hyacinths. That's the one. <laughs> I knew it started with an H. Hyacinths. Mm hmm. And it's going to be amazing. Once we start decorating this place. Oh, boy. It's all over. Best island ever. <laughs> oh, my fave. I do love the hyacinths. I think that the hyacinths are like some of the prettiest flowers. Um... I like the mums too and i i love the like jacob's ladder lily of the valley flowers the ones that you get when you have like a five star island oh, i love it so much they're just so like i don't know something about it because you have to have a perfect island to get them they just feel better it's just the I, I don't make the rules you know i feel like frida needs to be last to round out our worm burger experience I can understand that. I can understand that. That makes a lot of sense. Like, kind of start off with a banger and end with a banger, <laughs> you know? And thank you, Amy, for hanging out. I very much appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful day and that work goes well. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, I kind of agree. Oh my gosh, Apples is winning. I did not expect this. Apples, they'll get you. Yeah, so we have, I actually did pick up apples when I was getting all the nook miles for our first villager hunt where we went to get Marina. Um, so we can also plant the apples as well. It's just, I don't know where to put them yet, but I guess it doesn't really matter because if they grow eventually, then we can just move them in the future and it'll be fine. Um, so are the small rivers canonically the indentations that a mega worm left behind? yeah that bangs yeah I, yes yes that was exactly my thoughts um <laughs> that would be kind of interesting i think that that's good there's a present oh it's so far away i'm putting dirt down you know can you do a tour of the island i could do a little mini tour basically um so this is this place <laughs> There's not really much on the island yet because we've mostly been trying to like unlock all this stuff and get the Able Sisters open, get Nooks open, uh, upgrade the museum, like do all of that kind of like uh, beginning of the game stuff. But essentially, this is the little Nook Island. 
And then this is the town hall, which is surrounded by a worm. And then there's a the worm goes down here. It's a very long worm. And then this is our house over here. <laughs> and that's pretty much the whole island. That's all you need to know. Yep. Oh boy. And then or the rivers are one massive worm that powers the island. <gasps> yeah, it could be like a supernatural worm kind of thing where like instead of the idea that it's a big worm made it what if the river itself is a is a water worm it's just like it just is i don't know it doesn't make much sense when i say it out loud in my head it sounded like a good idea and then i said it and now i'm a little embarrassed that i said it <laughs> but i think that it could be cool you know water type worm exactly oh um 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 wiglet that's what it is. They're little wiglets. Kind of, you know? Oh boy. I don't know. I was, I just, there's a little sneak peek because I always like end up blabbing about stuff that I'm working on whenever I'm doing streams. So this is stream knowledge only. But I recorded a video where I opened up like a whole box of Pokemon cards for like one of the newer sets because um, I just love Pokemon cards. And I, I was kind of like on a tangent in that video, and I really want to get your opinion on this. It, are we okay with Wiglet? Like, they really just took our precious little Diglet and just went, woo. Like, I haven't seen any backlash for Wiglet ever. And I'm confused about it, you know? I just feel as if that we needed to have a bit of a conversation about that as a community before they went ahead and did that. But that's just me. That's just me. I don't know. Yeah, he is a god. Oh, okay. I like that. I think when I'm on this worm island, I'm inclined to agree. But then in real life, like normal time, I'm like, I don't know. If we're okay with Pooper, we should be okay with Wiglet. That, that's true. That's true. Oh, goodness. And Lily, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh my gosh. You are too kind. I very much appreciate it. And then speaking of hyacinths, I believe a perfect gift for Wormburger would be the Hyacinth Wand. It's both wormy and practical. <gasps> That's a good idea. A Hyacinth Wand. Okay, I will write that down. I Thank you. That's actually a very good idea. I like that. I like that. And Meadow, thank you again for the super chat. You're just so kind. I very much appreciate it. And big worm equals big power. That's true. And in the in that thread, Meadow, we're also going to be having a little bit of an homage to the Alaskan bullworm um, from SpongeBob. So like a little cave. So I agree that big worm equals big power would equals big, 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 good island. You, you know, take it a step further. <laughs> I think that just makes sense. It's just simple math. And Julia, thank you so much for getting a membership as well. I appreciate it so much. And welcome to Sprigdom, of course. Uh, there's a fossil that looks like a dirt slash poop mound. Oh, yeah, the copper light. That would be good, definitely. Mm hmm. Very true. And yes, we do have to give worm outfits to all the villagers. Yes. I'm excited. I'm excited. And like we said in one of the previous episodes, I think it's going to be really fun. We had the idea that, like, you guys could, I could visit your island or something and, like, pick up items that you left for me. Um,. Like that you specially curated to add to the island and then it would be an even more involved like you choose island because you literally chose the items by hand and I'm putting them on the island, you know? I was thinking that maybe people could like send it, um, send it in the mail, but then I realized that in order to do that you have to be friends or have like visited each other's islands before or something like that. So I was like, eh, that seems like a lot of work, but yes, that'll definitely be maybe like an offline kind of thing and once we have a more established like once we finish the dirt paths and once we finish all the terraforming stuff i think that that's when we'll start um collecting those items uh and it's gonna be so much fun i can't wait and thank you so much kimberly for gifting a membership oh my goodness thank you I just you guys are too kind i very much appreciate it and of course welcome dumpling cap fantastic username to break them <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh, this dirt. It's it's going to be a time. Oh, goodness. It's going to be a whole time, but we'll get it done. 
Uh, could do it via dodo code only. That's very true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, we could do that. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. I think that would be really fun too. I'm sure that people have done... I've kind of seen like streams or videos before where people say uh, they're going to... Like visiting my viewers islands or something like that. I've seen that before, but I don't know how they did it. If they did it live. So I'll, I'll have to research. I'll have to research. But that'll be a lot of fun. Once we get the dirt down. You can't put dirt on the beach, right? Oh, thank goodness. I did not want to do that. <laughs> but this is going well. This is going very well. And just apples right now is winning at 38%. So we'll see. Um, would it be too much to have a little mushroom forest? I think it would make sense since the frog villagers thrive in most places along with worms. Oh, in most places. My bad. That, yeah, I want to do, like, I want to use a bunch of the mushroom items. Like, we were thinking of using the mushroom partition, like, wall things, and using the, basically just all of the different fall special items. And that was kind of where we came up with the idea of having viewers give the, the different items that they wanted to contribute to the island, is because I was, like, trying to grind for all the different recipes at first, and then it was just, it wasn't happening. <laughs> it's just too hard. But yes, decomposers stick together and we will be having a mushroom part of the island for certain. And it's going to be fun. I'm excited. I'm really excited to experiment with the mushroom items because I've never used them before. And I just think it's a very interesting idea. It like fits so perfectly onto this island that I think it'll just work out. It'll just be great. I'd rather it be fruit bats. Oh boy, not the mushroom cave fruit bat question. I'm just going to throw my take out there. Why would you ever get mushrooms? I'm sorry. I mean, I guess it actually, it kind of depends on like what you're going for in Stardew Valley. That's kind of what we're talking about. The, the cave. There's a, a whole controversy over it. But I just feel like the... If you're going to finish the community center, the fruit cave is better because you can give them out as gifts more and also you can use them for the actual bundles. I'm sorry, I know that that's a hot take. I know that everybody loves the mushroom cave and I don't get why. <laughs> and that's all I will say on it. That is it. <laughs> oh goodness. Why did you choose to be a worm and not something else? That is a great question. Um, I didn't choose. <laughs> I did not choose. Of the viewers in this series are the ones that make all the decisions. And for some reason, everybody thought it would be fun to n be named Wormburger and make a worm island. Inspired by Mineko's Night Market, which we also did as a stream series and was so much fun. And funny. <laughs> Charlie gets no choice. Exactly, yes. I have no, no choice. No sway in the matter. Like, do you really think I would look like this on purpose? <laughs> bat cave gang i'm sorry also fruit bats are better oh my gosh no worries i i respect the mushroom cave lovers i just don't i don't get it but i respect you know <laughs> oh goodness and yes we have a beautiful worm outfit we did have another like more sophisticated worm outfit that we put on at the end of the last stream but i had to put this one back on because it just it felt wrong it, it feels so iconic you know I think it's great. <laughs> a Charlie has no free will. No, no, no. Not in this series. Whenever I do a you choose series, I it's just your decision. And speaking of which, Apples is still winning at 38%. If you have not voted for who we're going to be hunting um, in the next villager hunt next stream, definitely vote because Apples is winning and I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, there's lots of stuff that we have to do. Oh my god. <laughs> lots of stuff that we have to do on this island, but it's going to be fun. And I think that once we like start getting the ball rolling, it'll be a lot easier. It like it's always in this game, it takes so long to get to the point where you have all the different buildings and you've like gotten all the villagers here and set up all the house plots and everything. Like it takes forever to get that done, but then once you do, it's like the world is your oyster. <laughs> I feel not good about apples, but it does add to the chaos. That's kind of how I feel. 
That is kind of how I feel, yes. The dirt is making wonderful progress. Thank you. I appreciate that. I agree. I think we're making some good progress with the dirt. We are going to have to, like, get rid of the rocks and uh, trees and everything and flowers. But for now, this is great. This is good. Um, Are you going to use those volcano items as little worm mounds? Oh my gosh, yes. Emma, you're so on it. I am. The dormant volcano item is like the perfect worm mound thing. I did like in the finale of my Happy Home Paradise planning DLC. That name is so long. I never remember it. But in the finale of it, I did a house for Rossetti. And I'm kind of going to have a similar vibe as that build, I think. But like instead of random bugs and stuff, it's going to be mushrooms, you know? <laughs> so yeah, I think it's good. I think it's good. And Crane, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh my gosh, I appreciate that. Um, I saw chat call for a burger diner, more burger. That's true. We are leaning a little bit more into the worm side of things, of the worm burger, but we will, I think a burger diner or like some type of burger shop is in the cards because Frida, the other villager, one of the other ones we have to get is a, a sheep that looks like a burger. And I feel like the perfect build for them would be to do like, some type of like burger diner or little like not a five guys i'm not building five guys in animal crossing again i can't do that twice but like no five guys only five worms yeah you're on the same wavelength but yeah like a burger place and it'd be cute too one of the things i really like doing is like making a big build for a villager and then having little tiny things and i kind of did that on my other island where poppy has like um, a flower shop, but then there's also little flower carts kind of around. And I thought that was freaking precious and cute. So maybe we could have like a burger shop, burger diner thing, and then little burger chain things, you know? Does that make sense? <laughs> burger diner, Papa's Burgeria stream one. I would love to stream the Papa's games. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm obsessed. Okay, I need to know, what are your favorite Papa's games, like everybody? Because mine is Papa's Freezeria, and I think it's purely nostalgia, but I just love Papa's Freezeria. And I worked so many food service jobs, and I just kept, like, it was like a real life Papa's game to me. Every, even from like my first job that I had when I was like 14, I was like, dang, the real world really be like a Papa's game. <laughs> which sounds like so bad, but it's the only way that I could get through the day. <laughs> Appa's Freezeria, 100%, yes. Freezeria is so good. It's so good. I never played any Papa's games. Oh my gosh. Wait, there's a Papa's Wingeria? I need to play all of them. I don't even know. I didn't even know that. <laughs> we need to do, we need to do that. And Belle, thank you so much for getting a membership also. Oh my gosh. I very much appreciate it. Thank you. And welcome to Springdom. Of course, I've got to say it every single time. Ow, sorry, I just hit that. I'm sorry if I hurt your ear. There's so many Papa's games I've like never heard of. Using Papa to romanticize my life. Literally me, I'm not even kidding you. I worked at like um, a sandwich shop. I, that's a Papa's game. I worked at, um, I did do like drink stuff at a different place also a Papa's game. It was basically Papa's Freezeria. And I just, I don't know, it felt fun. Except it seems like the people like, I don't know. In the Papa's games, I love that they like stand there and watch you. But then in real life, when people stand there and watch me, I did not enjoy, <laughs> I did not enjoy that at all. <laughs> that was not very fun. I'm like, can you let me make your peanut butter chocolate smoothie in peace, please? Like, I promise you I make these 50 times a day. Like, Back away, sir, please. <laughs> oh gosh, that's so fun. We have to play those. And Rhea, thank you so much for the super chat. I very much appreciate it. And yes, the worm life did choose us. It just kind of, it just happened. But it's perfect and beautiful. Like, would we be covering an island entirely in dirt right now if it weren't for being chosen by the worm life? No, not at all. We would not be, I tell ya. And is this like, even something that anybody wants to do ever no not even me but it's gonna feel fun and nice when we finish it and we can run over it and it's all dirt it'll be satisfying that's what i'm telling myself you know 
It'll be good. And Pineapple Peach, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that. Um, I vote Papa's Taqueria stream. I've never played Papa's Taqueria. What even is a Taqueria? It's incredible. <laughs> oh gosh. As a barista, life is like a Papa's game. It is! Oh my gosh. I kind of miss like working in food service sometimes, but then also not really, but like kind of. Like, it was because it was a Papa's game and it was so fun. I thought it was fun sometimes. And then there were other days where I was just like, if I have to make another sandwich or smoothie, I might lose my mind. I really might. And then also, I don't know if this is a thing where, like, I think in every job you have, you get so accustomed to certain, like, words or, like, I don't know. It's like words and, like, things where you just can't do it anymore, like, in your free time like i don't know making video games and yeah i am a full-time content creator and i have been since i started the channel which also the, i didn't choose that the content life creator life also chose me because <laughs> i did not have the ability to work a job at that point but yeah the like when i was working at a sandwich shop i just could not talk about cheese like in my free time like if anybody said like any cheese related word i was like stop I don't want to hear it. <laughs> or if anybody mentioned like peanut butters or bana banana or like anything, I was just like, please, it's my time off. I don't want to talk about this right now. <laughs> and I think that that kind of applies where like now I play like video games and stuff and then people are always like, oh, we should play a game. And I'm like, I just, I just no, <laughs> I just don't want to. <laughs> I don't know. It's just the way of the world, I think. It's a shame, because people are always talking about cheese. Yeah. Literally. You say that as a joke, but I feel like people talk about cheese a lot. <laughs> like, that's a very common topic of discussion in my life, at the very least. <laughs> Which is, like, good that I'm over it, you know? But I don't know. But it's also, like, that bothered me in a different way. Where, like, when people mention cheese, it's just like, please don't mention cheese around me. But when people mention video games around me, I get excited. Because I'm like, I know that. I do that. And then we, like, talk about video games, which is fun. But I'd never want to talk about cheese. Actually, these days I'll talk about cheese. But then, no. That is a dark forbidden subject. <laughs> oh, goodness. And Abigail, thank you so much for the super chat. You are too kind. Um, I never get to watch anything live, but today I'm enjoying having a slow day and watching Animal Crossing. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry that <laughs> the stream that you happen to be able to catch is us putting dirt on the ground, but I will try and make it as entertaining as possible just for you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, goodness. Yeah, yeah. You should find a game that's just for you that you don't play on stream or for videos. That's kind of like I have done that. Ooh. And I feel like that's the only way I can keep myself sane. But then I also get so excited about like making videos as a job that it's so hard to do because I'll like, I don't know, I'll start playing a game. And this happened with Cult of the Lamb where I started playing and then I was like, this game is actually fantastic and I need to like share how incredible this is with people. And then I just make it into a video. But like the one game that I did play that I had just like just for myself was um super mario 3d world <laughs> and i just 100 percented it over the course of a couple of months and did nothing else but play mario <laughs> and it's just so fun like games are fun what the heck but yeah i just like i don't know why i'm just i feel like i really really like making videos and like creating content and stuff like that so i just everything that i do i get so excited about potentially making into a video which i overwhelm myself because then i have too many ideas but it's like even like i really want to make i have a second channel but i want to post videos about like i don't know vi movies and different shows and god what do you want what you want more reactions check this out wow cool awesome very cool can you leave me alone i'm clearly in the middle of something <laughs> But at least I can go wah now. Jeez, this guy. Should have been you, not Maddie. 
I feel so bad. I feel so bad because, wait, what are the sunglasses? Everybody's talking about the sunglasses. Wait, now I actually want to see him. Yeah, that's not the greatest of all time. Where did he even get these? What in the world? <laughs> they don't even cover his eyes. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Too much interaction with Buck today. But yes. But yeah, I really wanted to make, like, videos about, um, like, movies and shows and books and stuff because I've- I'm just like, I don't know. Whenever I- oh, There she is! There she is, everybody! Oh my gosh! Marina! Welcome to Isla de Worm! Wernberger, hi. I was inspired to move here after the last time we ran into each other. The other islanders I met have been so great to me, so I feel like I'm in the right place, blurp. <laughs> oh, yay! She's so precious. We need to get a worm outfit on you, and we will. Don't even, don't even fret. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, goodness. Yeah, it's just like, I don't know. But now when it's bad because now that I want to do that for my second channel, I watch any show or any movie and I'm like, this would be a great video. And then I get overwhelmed. <laughs> like, I just want to make videos about movies. I just want to make a video where I talk about Wonka and everything I thought about it, even though I didn't think that much about it. Maybe that's a bad example. The new Hunger Games movie I had a lot of thoughts about. I want to talk about it. And it's always been this way, where like the only reprieve I have, the only outlet is whenever I go to Skull Caverns in Stardew Valley and then I get to just blab on about whatever. And I need more. It's not enough. <laughs> you should make a cage to keep Buck in. You know, I've thought about it before, but I think that like ultimately Buck isn't really a danger to us or the island. He just kind of sucks. So mostly just birds and look at this the cage doesn't even work this guy's a certified worm eater and you can see it in his eyes and he's just walking free even though i put up the best cage of all time charlie you should make a gilmore girl series on your new channel oh my gosh melanie don't even say that because yes i want to so bad and i'm actually scripting one right now because i'm obsessed i finished gilmore girls and i'm for the first time was it satisfying no but i did it and I'm proud of myself for that. That's like the first show I've ever finished. And I don't even know why. It just became kind of like a, a nightly ritual where I was like, I'll finish a stream or I'll finish what I'm doing for the day and then I'll watch an episode of Gilmore Girls and then before I knew it, it was over. <laughs> so weird. But yeah, I think that would be so freaking fun. I'm, I'm gonna do it. Don't even worry. I also, in the, because we're playing Animal Crossing, in the vein of Animal Crossing, I have a bunch of second channel ideas that I'm just, like, waiting on having the time to do. Like, reading all the different, like, manga, I think is how you say it. Oh god, I'm so confused. I'm sorry. The, like, manga of Animal Crossing, I have read half of them, but I want to make a video on, like, all of them all at once. And I'm really excited about that. And then like watching the Animal Crossing movie because apparently there's an Animal Crossing movie. So those are things that I will definitely be making and am in the process of making. So look out for those. Um, also Team Dean, Jess or Logan. Is that even a question? Jess all the way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just like, I'm sorry. I don't like Logan. I just don't. I just don't like Logan. That's all. No comments. I think that Jess is so cool. And then they could... I don't want to give spoilers, so I'm not going to give spoilers, but it's like, they, I just, duh, duh. I can't even get, like, why so much Logan? Why? I don't like Logan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. The Animal Crossing movie slaps. I'm so excited to watch it. I haven't even seen anything about it. I don't know anything. I just saw that it existed and I was like, I need to watch that. And it needs to be a video because I highly suspect that it'll be very entertaining. <laughs> It's gonna be fun, for sure. Did your full watch include the revival? Yes, unfortunately it did. Yes, I have seen the revival now. No words, no words. <laughs> but yes, there is an Animal Crossing movie and apparently it has a lot of our favorite villagers in it, I think. Like, I think Lucky is in it. I think Lolly is in it. I know that like Fang is in it or something like that. I'm not really sure, but I'm really excited. I want to watch it. I think it'd be interesting. 
And like reading the manga also, it's so weird seeing like these villagers in a different context because basically the way that it's sort of <laughs> dirt for <laughs> dirt any percent speed run. Yes, that is exactly what we're doing. And it is very slow, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, basically the way that the, the manga is like oriented is kind of you have, I think it's like four main characters that you follow throughout the different books and it's just kind of like their adventures on an island um yeah and then like sometimes other villagers kind of come in and they are part of the adventures like i think there, there's one on like raymond there's one with lucky and then they kind of interact with like wisp and tom nook and all that stuff so yeah it's interesting it's interesting seeing the villagers in different contexts because you're just so used to seeing them on your island and they're just like man bugs are so cool but then in the book they have a little bit of personality and it's kind of interesting you know <laughs> i don't know and emma thank you so much for hanging out i very much appreciate it i hope you have a great rest of your day thank you but yeah it's kind of cool that sounds so neat yeah it's very interesting it's it's an interesting read it's kind of funny and ridiculous like i i don't know if i'd like recommend it but like if you're looking for a little bit of a chuckle then yeah i would recommend it. <laughs> if you're looking for an animal crossing flavored chuckle i would recommend oh my gosh thank you guys for being here while i place dirt down genuinely if i had to do this on my own it'd be all over <laughs> oh goodness have you watched Heartstopper? I have seen Heartstopper and it's very, very cute and I love it. I haven't read the books though. I do want to read like the uh, graphic novels, but yes. Oh, goodness. I would say we're making very good dirt progress. Very good progress in our dirt any percent speed run. I think, yeah, so far we've kind of, well, we can see the map, I guess, to see how much progress we've made. Oh. <laughs> wow that's a lot of dirt um yeah yeah that's some good progress okay i kind of love and hate the fact that we can see it on the map because then it means that i can see that we're not even like halfway done but on the bright side it's only been like an hour so we have so much time so much time to place dirt down and we're just hanging out and it's great you know oh <laughs> uh. What an endeavor. But yeah, I think that I might. We'll probably finish placing the dirt down today and we'll maybe get to the point where we take down all the cliffs. I might move all the buildings so that they're on the dirt level just while we're like figuring out the format of everything and then change the rivers to worm rivers in my own time so that you don't have to suffer anymore. But it's good. It's good. <laughs> so dirt streams yes the most interesting streams of all time but you know how it is and yahoo thank you so much for the super chat i appreciate it dirt you're so right honestly so right about that <laughs> oh gosh just dirt dirt all the time i agree wholeheartedly this is so ridiculous to me, but it's fine. I've just never done a stream. Like, I am I feel like I'm always so, like, like, in my head, I'm always thinking of how entertaining a stream is, and I don't want people to get bored, or I'm, like, nervous that I'll, you know, lose people's attention or something like that. So it's very interesting, different vibe for me to be just doing a stream where I'm painting dirt on the ground. Just weird. It feels weird. <laughs> You need to do a compost bin area build? Oh, 100%. Yes. We will be doing that. It's going to be fun. I've been doing a lot of thinking about how I want to do this island. And it's interesting too, because obviously I haven't said it yet, but I'm going to say it now for the first time. Quinoa, our regular island is totally fine. Can I help you? Good morning. Wait, what? Oh, it's really cool. I made a new friend the same day I moved. I brought a present for you. This makes us officially licensed friends. I don't know. I don't know if I want... Wait, a beekeeper's hive? That sounds kind of cute, though. Hold on. 
Hmm. That sounds kind of cute. <gasps> it is kind of cute. Okay, thank you, actually. I really like that. <laughs> but yes, I've been thinking a lot. And it's been kind of fun because we have quinoa is totally fine. I have two different switches. Um, one for quinoa and one for Isla de Worm. So it's been very interesting to go from quinoa, which is kind of like my no nonsense, like trying to get as much done as I can, 100% in the game kind of thing, to just the island where it's like, oh, everything worm, <laughs> you know? It's been a nice balance between them. That is an excellent gift, actually. That was my thoughts exactly. I wasn't expecting that to be so good. But thank you. We will use it. Ugh, what is worm core and why haven't I been doing it? Well, basically worm core, we've decided, is just covering everything in dirt and using any item that is vaguely worm-like. And I don't know. I think we're starting a movement. I think this is the beginning of worm core. I don't know. Like fairy core, cottage core, kid core. Boring, boring, boring. Done before. Worm core? Oh yeah, baby. It's like, oh, I heard at one point, um, what is it called? There's like goblin core or something. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so me. Like, I'm such a little goblin, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was so funny. Goblin core. But I guess it could be cooler than what I'm imagining it as. But whenever I like think or use the phrase goblin, it's always like little goblin, you know? Gremlin core. That's what it is. Worm core and gremlin core feels related. Yes, gremlin core. That's what it is. He's just chillaxing. Okay, love that. Yeah, it's not goblin core, it's gremlin core. That's me. I'm a little gremlin. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I think we're starting a little bit of a worm revolution. And I'm happy about that. I feel like worms, they, they deserve more love. I don't think people like worms as much as they should, you know? Now there needs to be goblin core as well. <laughs> I know, I may have just invented it, indeed. I think it's great. And Brian reads books! Thank you so much for getting a membership! Oh my gosh! Welcome to Springdom. And welcome welcome to the little little goblin pit. Welcome, welcome to the little gremlin house. <laughs> Thank you, sorry. Oh, goodness. I just can't. I can't be trusted with such things as gremlin core. It's just, it just can't happen. Oh, gosh. Goblin core is a thing? Dang it. Well, at least we made worm core. I can't believe goblin core is a thing. Are people just out here really being little goblins? That's, that's great. <laughs> also... This is so, um, this is so unrelated, but I've been, because I finished Gilmore Girls, I've been watching the Great British Baking Show, and I've been so inspired to bake. Like, I just want to be a, like, a good baker. I want to be able to make really good cakes and stuff. It's so unrelated, but I just feel like it would be so fun. <sighs> yeah, that's all. Just, like, if you're a person that bakes things and you're good at it, I'm so jealous of you. Just know that. <laughs> Just know that. I wish I was you. Oh, goodness. I feel like we've finished the whole top left corner. And we've almost finished the whole bottom left part. And then we have a lot of cliffs on the right hand side. So we're going to have to demolish those. And I'm going to have to fix it up as well. Where like, I'm thinking maybe we can put these little worm paths on top of the dirt. Just so it like makes more sense i don't really know i'm gonna try it out let's see so do that and then uh put these just play oh yeah that looks so good oh that looks really good yeah i'm gonna have to do that too it's okay yeah charlie you should make a worm cake when this island is complete <gasps> that'd be so cute oh my gosh that would be really, really cute. I would love that. I am going to... <laughs> I love baking videos. I'm going to make a cooking slash baking thing in the next couple months. And that of that, I'm sure. I've been planning it for literally over half a year. 
maybe over a year over a year and i'm so excited about it it's gonna be so great but it's not gonna be like good maybe it might not be good but yeah they have like those dirt cakes where it's like chocolate cake and then chocolate frosting and then you have little gummy worms in it that would be kind of cute or if i could get very very talented within like um i don't know a very short amount of time and then i can use fondant to make a cake that actually looks like our island that'd be so fun i love that charlie please do a gremlin core stream what is a gremlin core stream i hope you mean an animal crossing or do you want me to like start the stream and be like ah hello <laughs> like what does a gremlin do i don't even know <laughs> what is a gremlin like in my mind gremlin and goblin are so closely related i'm just like give me give me all your your goods ah. what do goblins do aren't they like very all my only reference point is lord of the rings so oh the bells beautiful music to my ears So good, so good. And Brianna, thank you so much for the super chat. Make dirt pie, pudding, Oreos, Cool Whip, and worm. That sounds really good. Oh my gosh. We've got to do all this. <laughs> Every worm pie that's possible, we'll have to make. Okay, we've got to get rid of these trees. I'm just going to say it now. And oh my gosh, apples is still winning. 39%. We were of people say that we should get apples oh goodness well i guess we're getting apples next time i don't know how i feel about that i don't know if i like apples as a villager but i think that it kind of makes sense like the rationale behind it that everybody was saying was that like worms like apples so we should get apples because we're a worm uh, I think that it does raise some questions. Um, and I won't say them. I think that they don't need to be said. <laughs> it does raise some, some questions for me. But overall, I think that the rationale is pretty sound, you know? I only think of the witch's henchman from Stardew Valley. <laughs> yeah, the little goblin guy. He's like, give me, give me mayonnaise. That guy. That makes a lot of sense. I'm working on writing an Isla de Worm anthem. Oh my gosh. Please, I am begging. That would be incredible. And then we can... <laughs> would it be bad if we like sang it before every stream? Would that be bad? <laughs> or like... If we had like a little like... Like a worm. How do you... I was just like, if we can make our arms like a worm. And then be like, Isla de Worm, I love you so. You are the best in the world. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the worm. Exactly. Same vibe. Same vibe. But different. Oh, goodness. Charlie's going from worm core to worm cult. To be fair, I think it was always a worm cult. Wormcore is just the nice way of saying, like, that we worship worms. Okay, how are we doing? How's it looking, team? Ooh! Mmm! That's a lot. Okay. Putting down dirt is actually takes forever. <laughs> there is already a dance move called the worm, and I assure you, I cannot do it. I can't do it either, don't worry. Yeah, the worm is like, it's like our secret greeting. <laughs> Every time you see a fellow worm barking, you have to like get on the ground and do the worm. <laughs> That's so funny. I would never, nobody would believe that I'm part of it because I just cannot do the worm. <laughs> but maybe that's part of the charm is that like, it, it, nobody can do the worm, which is why it's funny, you know? <laughs> I think that'd be cute. But also then like, I don't know, the ground, the ground is not the greatest place to do the worm. It would have to be in a very clean environment. <laughs> oh, goodness. It just feels like this will never end. And Dr. Death, oh my gosh. 
Hello, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being a member for 16 months. That is a long time. I very much appreciate it. Thank you for being a wonderful mod as well. Oh my goodness. Yeah, a good stream to join. We're just covering the island in dirt and hanging out, you know? Talking about the worm and cheese. But it's going well. I wish, I do wish. I need this like, I don't know. It just makes me think whenever I hate something in Animal Crossing, it just makes me think like, gosh, if I was making a list of all the things in Animal Crossing I would change or that I want in the next game. And I think that something I would change is making it easier to put down paths. Like this is just so tedious. And I don't know how it would it could be fixed possibly. But all I know is that I just hate it. <laughs> Your hair looks good. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I appreciate it. I did. Yes. Cut it with craft scissors myself a couple weeks ago. So. Thank you. <laughs> it's so it's so like uneven and I have like pretty curly hair. So usually it looks fine. And then when I straighten it, it's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I definitely cut that myself. Yeah, that's definitely evident. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> It's part of the vibe. It's part of my gremlin core aesthetic, so... <laughs> you know how it is. Oh, goodness. This is going well, I would say. Almost half the stream, and we've done about half the island. <laughs> so, that's progress, baby. Oh, goodness. Like, you know how you could put furniture down in live mode, but there's also a room design mode inside the house. Adding that would be amazing. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. I don't... It's so, like... That would be amazing. Having... It's it's the same thing as, like, playing Minecraft and, like, you're building in creative and you're like, this is the greatest. And then you build in survival and you're like, this... I hate this so much. It kind of feels the same way. Like, we're given access to God mode. But then outside, they're like, mm, actually, no. I think that you have to do that yourself. Like, it's so rude, Nintendo. What the heck? Jeez. Oh, goodness. How many gift subs do we need to donate for you to afford a proper hairdresser? <laughs> it's fine. It's not even like... It, I just don't see the point. Like, I don't know. I get that, like... I get that I'm in a lot of videos, and so maybe it is in my best interest to have my hair professionally done. But I just don't see the point of paying to have my hair cut when I could just cut it myself. <laughs> and I don't know, maybe that's like my COVID gremlin coming out, where like, in, in COVID, I just gave myself my own haircuts. And then I was like, you know, this doesn't look half bad. So, you know. I don't know. Maybe it's just now I'm just like, eh, this is good. <laughs> Being a hairdresser, this upsets me. To be fair, I don't go to a hairdresser to get my hair cut. But if I ever do like dye stuff, I always do. Like, and I, I say that as if I've done it a lot, but I haven't. I've only gotten my hair done like I got a balayage or something. And I was like, I'm not doing this. I can't do this myself, possibly. And I want to do like a charity stream. And I want to like dye my hair either blonde or like basically white it's like i'm not doing that myself i would go to a hairdresser for that <laughs> but maybe i will start getting my hair cut professionally i don't know i don't know oh goodness so much dirt <laughs> so much dirt covid gremlin core i think we were all kind of rocking the covid gremlin core covid covid gremlin baker core where everybody's just frantically baking loaves of bread and like cutting their own hair <laughs> i don't know what a time it's still like nuts to me that that happened i can't even conceptualize that because it feels so like normal usually i don't know it's just like that wasn't that long ago wild times how are we looking that's a lot that's a lot that's a lot. Okay, I'm kind of proud. I think we're doing well. The thing that I'm honestly not looking forward to is having to take the cliffs down because <sighs> something else that I wish that they would let us do, but like if there's a tree on the cliff or there's flowers on the cliff or anything like that, even like a weed, it won't let you get rid of the cliff until you remove that weed, which means we need to fully remove everything from on top of the cliff before we even think about 
tearing it down. And that's just so annoying to me. <laughs> oh, goodness. This is going okay, though. Marina is also kind of keeping us company, which I think is nice. Marina is so cute. I'm so happy that we got her. Every time we do like a villager hunt, it's really kind of a gamble because I don't know. I always kind of think to myself, like, I just want to spend the stream finding the villager. I don't ever want to like have to do this again. I just want to sit down, hunt for the villager, have my little time and then be done with it for good. But then I don't know. I've just gotten so lucky with them where like every single time I do a villager hunt, I find them within three hours and I don't know how. And I feel like one day we're going to be looking for a villager and it's going to take us like years and then I'll understand the true pain, you know? <laughs> I don't know. And Luca, thank you so much for being a member for 15 months. Oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> what a wild ride so far. Being, being a sprig is a wild ride. Yes. But I really appreciate you supporting the channel and being here. You're too kind. It's such a long time. So much has happened. Ugh. Dirt, guys. Dirt. Mm-hmm. This is just so... So fun. But yeah. A lot of people saying that they would not be able to do this or have the patience to do this. I just feel like Animal Crossing is such a test of patience. Like, as a game. Like, every time I play it, I'm just thinking to myself, like, this is what they wanted. They didn't want me <laughs> to, like you know get things done in a fast way they didn't want things to be convenient for me they wanted me to suffer to make things perfect so then i just think to myself that i'm like accomplishing all the the goals of nintendo and it feels like slightly better but then still bad you know like i feel as if they could have so easily made it that you could bulk craft things at the crafting table so you don't have to make the bait one by one but they didn't. And I think that, that that's telling. <laughs> oh, goodness. I have so much stuff I need to put in my house. Or on the beach. I'm going to put it right here. That's why I stopped playing Animal Crossing after like three weeks. It's a game that tests your patience for certain. But then also like when you time travel, it's a lot less bad. And I've only just discovered the wonders of time traveling in... <laughs> in the past like less than a year and it is definitely much more convenient so i think that it's good that we're time traveling oops no rejoin because otherwise it would take us forever to do stuff and i'm just not a fan the lack of bulk crafting is the worst yeah what the heck is that about i don't know oh goodness <sighs> well, but like I said, this isn't too bad. I'm mostly just worried about the cliffs. Because that's going to take so much longer. I did do, I like kind of redid the top left corner a little bit because I needed to use the picture of the dirt. So I'm also worried that maybe it's taking longer than I'm thinking. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, we also have a bagworm back here. I totally forgot we caught one of those little guys. What a cutie. Did we name this bagworm? Yes, we did. It was named something like Wormburger Jr. Is it Wormburger Jr.? I think it was named Wormburger Jr. <laughs> Which, to be fair, incredible name. I totally forgot about Wormburger Jr. Oh, Bagatha. Oh, it was Bagatha Christworm or something. You're so right. It was between Wormburger Jr. and Bagatha Christworm. What, it, what even was it? I don't even know. It is. It's Bagatha. Oh, that's such a good name. I love Bagatha. Did I forget it? Yes, but that has no bearing. Bagatha Wormsley. Yes, some, something like that. A fantastic name. We do need to make those like bug models and fish models or maybe just the bug ones from flick um so we're gonna have to like sacrifice some worms to have permanent worm models which i feel like is a little bit morally gray 
I'm not the most excited for that, but we cannot use Bagatha. It needs to be other little, like, little bagworms we don't care about. <laughs> but I'm excited about getting the bug models. I've never really built with bug models before because it kind of bothers me that they look... I don't know. Like, they just look very model -y. Like, when you can see the the metal part and stuff like that. But I think that if we could find some creative ways to use them, that they would add a lot of dimension to the island. Flick looks after them. He's a good egg. That's true. I guess we're not just, like, tossing them into the void. We're giving them to a devoted bug lover. Which is the best, the best thing. <laughs> That's so nice. I didn't even think about that. I don't know. But then again, like, I'm a little worried because Flick is kind of like a lizard, right? He's kind of like a lizard guy. What if Flick is eating the bugs? Have we ever thought about this before? I don't know. I just don't know. I'm scared of that because it just makes sense given. But like, which isn't to say that if you're a lizard, then you're always going to eat bugs. I don't want to say that because I'm sure that there are lizards that don't eat bugs, but there's lore behind that? Oh my gosh, please tell, because to me, I was always just like, he's eating those things. <laughs> he's chomping those things down. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, would never. His dad, though. Oh no. Oh, his dad eats bugs and Flick is upset by it so they don't speak? That's actually incredible. What the heck? That's amazing. I love that. I love that little lore tidbit. I didn't know that. Where did that even come from? <laughs> like, how do you know this information? I'm so curious. I want to know all the Animal Crossing lore that there is to know. I think that that would be so fun. But there's also a lot of characters, so that's a lot of lore to ingest. Oh my gosh, these trees are killing me. I think that it would be... I've been trying to like eat fruit to dig them up so that we could sell them or something, but I'm thinking it might be better if we just craft an ax. I just don't know if we have the upgraded ones yet. We might. We do. Oh, how, how make? Wood, flimsy ax, iron nugget. Okay. We might have to make some of those and just kind of go to town and chop down all the trees, which is kind of horrible. But they're just so in the way. They're preventing us from this. Okay. CJ is short for Chip Jr. Is it really? Oh my gosh. There's so much about Animal Crossing that I still don't know that I want to know. I need to do, I need to study up. Okay. Put this over here. We're almost done with this left side of the island. Oh gosh. I knew that, like, Chip is their dad. I know, like, the original, like, the gecko guy and then the uh, walrus or otter or something like that. Like, I know where the, the parents are, like, the related, um, the related villagers that we've seen on previous islands, but I never knew that there was lore there. I didn't know there was a little backstory. I also think that I'm upset that, um... Uh, Rossetti isn't here. Rossetti and Dawn. Like, I think it's a little bit upsetting that Rossetti is in this game. I thought it was kind of cool that in City Folk, I loved as a kid, that you could, like, change the time and one of the cones in the city would move and you could go visit, like, the headquarters where Rossetti and Dawn lived. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Um, but yeah, not in this game. You just never get to see him. Too bad. Upsetty Rossetti. Exactly, exactly. Rossetti is always upsetty, but I love him for it. Oh my gosh, that's something I really... This is so... Like, my brain, it doesn't make any sense. Don't worry about how I got here. But the one thing I loved about the Wonka movie is that they kept saying the word... <laughs> they kept saying... They kept singing these songs, and then they would always rhyme chocolate with pocolate. <laughs> And the first time I heard it, it was so funny to me. And and then every single time they did it afterward, it just kept making me laugh harder and harder. And it was the funniest thing of all time. 
There was like a song where they're like, your confidence will skyrocket it. So put your hand into your pocket. <laughs> it just, just took me out. Pocket. It's just so funny. I don't know why. I don't know why. Sorry, what? Right? They just used the word pocket, but then rhymed it with chocolate. So they kept saying pocket. I don't know. It's great. You should listen to the song just for the pocket. It actually cracked me up. Best part of the movie. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, I think that we should maybe get to crafting uh, some of the uh, the tools. Where? Okay, here's the workbench. I was like, I picked that up and I don't know where it went. But it's here. So we need... Shoot, what do we need? We need to make a shovel and we need to make an axe. And these are going to be our first upgraded tools that we've gotten. Which is exciting. So we need wood flimsy axe which is stone and tree branch and then we need flimsy shovel hardwood okay okay so we've got to get some tree branches i guess we could check our storage oh, what fun times and then we have to deforest the whole island jeez is the wonka movie any good timothy shambalam freaks me out too much to watch it i thought it was like fine i don't know I thought that Timothy Shal Shallow Mal I don't even know his name. Timothy? I thought Tim was like a really good actor, so I was expecting a lot. But then I think like I don't know. I don't think it like hit the Willy Wonka spot for me. Like I feel like they tried and I was like, oh I see what they're trying to do there. They're trying to like make it kind of like Gene Wilder-esque. But I just didn't it didn't like feel right. I don't know. It just felt like Timothy Chalamet was there. Is that his name? Timothy Chalamet? I don't know. <laughs> but I don't know. That's just my opinion. I didn't think that he was the right fit. And then, like, I, w I went to see the movie with friends and they were saying that people wanted the actor for, like, Lip Gallagher or something. The guy who's, like, also the chef in that show. I don't really know. They were saying that, like, he would have been the perfect Willy Wonka and I was so mad. I was like, you're so right. He would have been. He looks just like Gene Wilder. What the heck? <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. I also haven't seen Timothy Chalamet. Shalom oh my god. I haven't seen Tim in anything else. So maybe he's really good and I just don't know. That's what I, I'm telling myself. I don't know. I don't know. What would you rate the movie? I thought... Um, I thought the movie... Eh, I thought the movie was... I gave it a 73 out of 100 in my head. Like a 72, 73 out of 100. I thought that that was like fair. Because it was very fun and whimsical and kind of cute. But then also... I don't know. There were just things about it that I was like... Eh. But I think like if you're going for a cute, whimsical, fun movie, then yeah, it's good. I just didn't know if it was a super Willy Wonka. Um, I don't think Timmy had enough darkness behind all the zany. Yeah, that's part of it. And I think another thing, too, is that I found that, like, I don't know. I don't want to, like, say bad things because it was overall a fun movie. But I also think that I, I just get got the feeling that, like, like, at some points, the acting wasn't as, like, um, I don't know. It wasn't as good and responsive as, like, it should have been where, like, They'll be in a situation and they just won't react to it. Like, they're getting... Is this a spoiler? I don't want to say spoilers, but, like, they'll get into, like, a life-threatening situation at some points and then they'll, like... They'll just, co like, completely go along with it. Like, and it just didn't make any sense to me. I'm like, if I was in this situation, I would be literally freaking out. Like, what do you, what do you mean they're just, like, like slowly, <laughs> passively walking, <laughs> like, to their demise? I don't get that. But I don't know. I thought it was cute still. It's whatever. It is very much like a brain shut off movie where like I finished it and I was like, well, I don't even know what happened, but I, it was fun. <laughs> but yeah, but the new Hunger Games movie. Oh my God, was so good. And I'm not even like that much of like, I'm not like a diehard Hunger Games fan and I never really was. I was just kind of, I was like a passive fan, but it was so good like if you haven't seen the new hunger games movie like 
even if you haven't read the book, I feel like you should watch it because it was so good. I don't know, which is so crazy to me because I did not go into it expecting to love it as much as I did. But it is like one of my top, like one of my favorite movies I've ever seen. And I care a lot about movies like it was really good. He's really good. The actor. Yes, that was an attempt at a Camp Rock reference, but also true. He is really good. But anywho, we have almost finished this. I'm going to take the axe that I just crafted and I'm going to just start going to town on these trees. <laughs> I think it's not going to feel good until we completely fill in all the stuff. Because when you look at the map, there's like holes where the flowers are and where the trees and the rocks are. Lame. I think that we need to get rid of it all. Oh, and Jennifer, thank you so much for the super chat. You're too kind. I very much appreciate that. Um, you need to buy some of the Mario warp pipes. Put one in your house and one outside. Go down the pipe and never use the door again. Yes. Yes. I think that we should do that. I think that that's fantastic. We 100% have to do that. No more doors for us. I don't know exactly how to get it. Don't you get it in like the nook shopping thing? I'll have to go look. I'll have to go look. I love that. I'm definitely 100% writing that down and doing it. After I get stung by this bee. I literally press the door. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> that is an iconic idea. It is very worm-like and I love it. I didn't know that you could do that where you could put it in a house or something. Like that's wild. That's actually so cool. I feel like just hearing about that as a function in this game, like kind of opens up so many possibilities. So I'm like, whoa interesting i bet you can only do like one though which is sad okay eat a pear get rid of this and bonk eat another pear <laughs> it's okay the rocks will respawn and it'll be fine i just don't like where they are bonk I need to think of a better spot for them though, because I don't really have like a solution for where they are. I just don't like it. I know that sometimes people do those like, um, they'll make a zen garden and then they'll place items on every single tile so that the rocks go exactly where they want. That's kind of, yeah. I don't know. That's kind of the vibe, but I'm not really sure. I haven't made a decision on that. Um, ooh. wait, you can have a few pipes, but they kind of transport you randomly. Oh, that's so cool. So then it'll be like a fun surprise. <laughs> That'd be interesting. But for some reason, I feel like the one slur right now. I just feel like I just got a weird vibe that the Lorax would be so mad at me if he saw what I was doing. Do you ever think about that? Like, I think I think that too much when I'm playing games where I'm like, <sighs> God, the Lorax would be so mad right now. <laughs> like, as if the Lorax is a real person. <laughs> I don't know. Just, just sometimes I think that to myself. Okay, okay. Stop that. I don't like that. It'll be a wormhole. That's so true. That is so true. Well, let me see. I'll check right now because we had to hide from the wasps. I'll check. Um, I think it's nook shopping. Mm. is it here pipe five thousand bells that's kind of a steal okay just because of that suggestion i'm gonna buy two little pipes and there's also like little mushroom platforms that we can use too Ooh. wait i'm so into that oh this is gonna be great actually oh that's awesome i love the little mario things okay cool cool so we bought the pipes thank you again for that suggestion that was incredible absolutely incredible and we will have those next time we will never enter the door again <laughs> oh goodness the lorax being real would solve so many of our problems you're so right about that i wish the lorax was real i think the lorax is such a cool little guy oh boy okay get rid of these Get rid of these. And then... Oh boy. Now we have to get rid of all of the stumps. 
in the holes so that we can fill them in. But it's going to be worth it because then we'll look at the map and it'll look so much better. I love that I worked so hard to get a three star island and then I was like, oh, all the things that you liked that brought us the three stars. Yeah, no, I'm just going to get rid of that. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of that real fast. Thank you, though. No, I really do appreciate it. It's just that I don't care. <laughs> Isabel is fuming. Sad. Okay, get rid of this. I also think that this isn't a very sound decision for if we have items we want to craft later, but I get this feeling we will mostly be receiving the items instead of crafting them, so it's probably fine. <laughs> oh, goodness. And we're getting a lot of fossils. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, uh, can I... I don't want to bury the things. I just want to drop them. Uh, Why does it never let me... It just wants to bury things. It's so annoying. Fine, fine, fine. I'll get it later. I'll get it later. Make my life harder. Um, I just realized the pink paw slippers look even more cursed against the dirt paths. That's a horrifying point. Yes, they do. Um, not a fan. I put them back on, and I don't know why. Like, I did that of my own free will. There wasn't even a vote involved. <laughs> Just sad, man. Just sad. You can press swap? Oh. I didn't even notice. I was just thinking to myself, like, I have been in this position before, and somehow I was able to just drop the thing on the ground, but I guess it's a swap. They were voted on last time, I thought. Yes. We have been doing a vote every episode okay we have 39 percent to look for apples next time which to be fair isn't like the most like overwhelming majority but that is settled we are going to be doing a villager hunt for apples in the next stream that we do of this but i'm going to start another poll and i'm gonna say should we keep the shoes on and then yes no it's very important that we do this every time because i feel like sometimes the opinion might change on them and we need to keep up to date with that. Okay. You can place dirt over the holes. Don't waste the shovel. Wait, you can? Nintendo is going to let me place dirt over a hole, but it won't let me destroy a cliff that also has a weed on it. Are you kidding? Like, I know I should be happy about this, but instead I'm mad. Upsetting. So upsetting. But it's fine. Can I do it on like a flower? No, of course I can't. Awesome. Very cool, Nintendo. Very cool. <laughs> Okie doke. Um. Do, 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 do. Put this there and there. Oh, yeah. Now it's all coming together. There are, there's still like little areas where we haven't filled things in. Ooh, I wonder if I can do it here. Of course. I can put it over a gigantic hole, but I can't put it over the fossil spot. Yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. Thanks, Nintendo. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so salty today. It's just so annoying. But it's fine. 52% yes. Oh my gosh, this is a close vote for the shoes today. Oh god, this island is such a mess. <laughs> it's fine though, it's fine. How is Worm the fish? Worm is doing very well. Um, Worm the horse mackerel is living their best life, you know, as an alive fish in a tank. And that's all they could ask for, I think, as a horse mackerel. Do, 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 do. We could do the wheel if it stays really close. That's very true. The wheel is always an option. We'll do the wheel if it doesn't rise above like 5% more. But I think that once we finish out this little area... We're going to have finished... Uh, drop that. Drop this stuff. Random stuff. We're going to have finished the whole left side of the island, which is pretty impressive. Uh, let me see. Oh, that looks so good! We're making so much progress. I love it. I do need to get rid of these flowers because we're not going to be using them in the future and they're just kind of taking up space in my pockets is so i will have to sell those or something <laughs> get rid of them place the flowers on the sand to save them that's true 
but we did make the decision that we would be going with pink hyacinths only as our or like probably hyacinths in general only as the flower of choice for the island because hyacinths are like vaguely worm-like <laughs> you know so yeah <laughs> the shoes make me cry please vote no i love the the pleading in chat please everybody vote no i can't take it anymore which is kind of how i feel i will say they are not the greatest <laughs> To be a worm, you must be one with the dirt, so no shoes. Let your little worm feet feel the soil. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. I love that. And I agree. That's why I like wearing just like the little tights, because then it feels like I'm more one with nature. It's a nice feeling. Okay. So, we've gotten most of this side done. I will clean this stuff up later. Um, but I think that we are ready to get started on the clips, and I am very scared about it because I think it's going to be awful. <laughs> but we've got to do it eventually. Oh, goodness. Charlie, can I change my vote? I don't know. We might end up just doing the wheel. There's so... It's so close. It's 52%. Yes, it's not. I said 5% more. It's just not 5% more. Who knows? But, okay, dirt here, dirt here. This is such a project. I cannot believe we're doing this right now. Like, who covers their entire island in dirt? Nobody. Me. Only me. This is so funny to me. Oh, and yes, if you came a little bit later and you didn't see this, um, we've decided we're going to go for worm rivers, which are just like these little rivers here. And they look kind of cute. Uh, we haven't actually done it yet. We've only done that little area where we were refining the craft. But I'm very excited about it. I think that they'll look really funny. And worm-like. It'll be good. Okay, do this. Fill in this little place here. Oh gosh, I will give the vote. I mean, I think that we should just pull the wheel out. It seems like it's just... It's hovering and it's not ever going higher. But I'm going to have to go get the wheel. I'll leave it until we go get the wheel. <laughs> because we do have to sell all of these flowers and things. I don't really think we need the paint sets either. That was more so just like an item. Oh, the punching bag we do want. That we don't care about. Welcome Horizons is oddly sentimental, so I'll keep it. <laughs> Oh god, there's so many flowers up there. No! This is going to be horrible, but it's fine. Is Clifford crying in the background? Is there a cat in my neighborhood? Clifford? I don't think it's Clifford. I'm, I will say, I don't think it's Clifford. That does sound like a thing that he might do, but I don't hear him at all. So I think it, maybe there's a cat in your in your neighborhood. Maybe should check that out. Yeah, Clifford only starts crying at around the like two hour mark of a stream usually. Where he's like, mother, can you please? Which is understandable. I, I get it. But hmm, I'm thinking we do want it. We voted to get rid of the cliffs. So we have to get rid of everything up here, including the water. I might keep the little waterfall or I don't know. There's just so much to do. It's hard to know because we do have to move the campsite and all of the buildings and everything like down to the beach area, which is going to be very, very fun. Very fun. I tr like, trust me, it's a grind right now and it's really tedious and annoying, but it's so gonna pay off, I feel. When we live in our little dirt world, it's gonna be great. Uh, oh, one more. I'll grab this one. Lovely. Uh, you don't actually have to pick up the weeds. It will still break the cliff, just letting you know. Wait, what? Can you do that with flowers, too, or is it just weeds? Because I'm pretty sure I've had an annoying issue with that. Where it just won't let me do it. 
but I'm going to sell this this little bit of flowers that I just got. Doot 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 doot. doot. Goodbye. I thought Clifford was in cat jail due to his crimes of violence. Yeah, Clifford did uh, like kind of assault me. It was like so scary though. For context, if you're if you're not aware, I was supposed to do a stream. I'm so far from the water. I was supposed to do a stream. I think the day before yesterday. I was supposed to do a stream the day before yesterday, and I was just hanging out with my cat and playing with my cat. And then for some reason, somehow, for some reason, I think he was just overstimulated. He like ended up like scratching me in the eye. And it was so scary. I was like, this is it. I'm blind. I'm I'm never seeing again. It was it was a good 20 years. <laughs> it was a good 20 years. But it's okay. I don't really fault him for it because I think he was just a little bit overexcited and like I don't know. I also feel bad because I haven't been playing with him as much as I usually do. Because usually he's kind of like has a schedule where I wake up and I give him breakfast, and then I make myself breakfast, and then I play with him for like, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes. Just, I don't know, just for funsies. And then he takes a nap, and then I go on and do like work stuff. <laughs> so I haven't been doing that because I've been doing the like streaming and doing videos every day. So I kind of feel like it's my fault. So I wasn't even that mad. <sighs> it's okay. We were so close to eye patch Charlie. That would have been an interesting era of my life that I never expected. Eye patch Charlie. Oh my gosh. That's like the worst. It was kind of the same feeling as when you get sick, except obviously worse. But like the, when you get sick and you can't smell or like breathe anymore, and you're just like, all those years, all those years I took it for granted. And now. I don't know, or at least I feel that way. I'm always like, dang, remember when I could smell? Those were the days. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm not sick anymore, which is good. And I don't think I really was sick. I think I was just, my throat was so tired of being used. Um, Charlie Barley. I could have rebranded as a pirate. You're so right. But I, I'm glad that I would rather have my vision, I will be honest. <laughs> Especially because it was my right eye. Like, I really like my right eye. I don't know. But nothing really happened. I just was really scared. Which is fine. <laughs> so the island just won't have cliffs? No, we're going to add cliffs later. It's just that we want to be able to customize where we're going to put them. Because, like I've mentioned before, we're gonna have kind of like two layers on the island where the first layer, the bottom, is like the underground, and then the top layer, which is the cliff layer, is gonna be the kind of like the overground or like the normal, normal world. Um, so we're basically just kind of trying to get everything flat so that we can put the cliffs where we want them to be. Like, in particular, I'm thinking it would be really cute to have Marina's build be kind of surrounded by cliffs so we can make her like a little compost garbage heap. I think that would be very cute. So, I don't know. We will add cliffs later, but for now we're just getting rid of them. Do, 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 do. Can we re-vote or use the wheel? Wait! Somehow it's 56%! Yes, how did that happen? Oh my gosh, you guys! What the heck? What did I even say? Should we keep the shoes on? Oh no! We'll use the wheel. We'll use the wheel. Let me just... I'm trying to get rid of this river. Terraforming in this game is actually the most painful thing on earth. It's just not great. But it's always like... I don't know. When you see those islands where it's like 500 plus hours of work. And you're just like, wow, that's so impressive. It always feels so good after. But in the middle of it... It feels bad, man. It feels bad. <sighs> but it's more than 5%. That's that's true. Oh, and it's going up. Oh my gosh. 
Well, to be fair, we haven't gotten the wheel yet, so we don't know. I don't know. Maybe it'll be less than 5%. <laughs> I can't believe it. You guys like these shoes that much? Is it just because you purchased it and you're feeling sentimental about it? I don't understand. What about... There was a very compelling point that somebody made about feeling the earth with my toes or something and being more attuned with nature as a worm i thought that that was pretty pretty moving personally <laughs> just maybe that's just me i don't know okay but yes we do have the shoes and I don't think that somebody mentioned gifting them. I don't think you can gift shoes to villagers. I think it's just like the clothes that you can gift and the hats, maybe. But I don't know. And, you know, now it's giving me the thought. Why can't we gift shoes to villagers? I'm a little mad about it. Because I feel like if we could, I probably would give them horrible shoes like these and it would make me laugh. I don't know. And Shadow Kiwi, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that. Uh, the silo just hit 8k sprigs? What? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That's awesome. That's actually so crazy. I didn't even know we, were, we had that many people. What the heck? But yeah, the silo is my little Discord server. Or like kind of big now. Not really little anymore. But it's, it's our little Discord server where we talk about the streams and games and random stuff. And it's a cute little community. So... And we do have a channel in the Discord server. I will shamelessly plug that we have a channel um, where it's for the Animal Crossing YouTube series. And we kind of people send in like patterns to use on the island, like the clo this clothing that I'm wearing, the worm clothing and the worm hat I had on earlier were actually submitted by somebody in the, the Discord, which is so cool. So, yeah, if you have like designs or patterns or ideas or anything then you can toss them there and we will 100 use them we still have some other ones to use like somebody made um they made like a shelby from adventure time the little worm in adventure time that goes check please they made that <laughs> and we have to use that i just don't know where yet but we're we're using it oh gosh it's not that I like the shoes, it's that the shoes stay on. <laughs> but why? Look at the little toes. 58% yes, are you guys kidding me? But, but, but what about being in tune with the earth? <laughs> what then? Oh gosh. This is such a process. This is such a long river, why did we choose this? If I'd known we'd level the island, I possibly would have... Oh. Oh no. It's so sad when the waterfall goes away. I think it's really pretty. Oh. I'm nervous. I kind of want to check the map to see how many like little rivers and things there are, but I'm nervous to do so. Oh. Wait, that's like nothing. That's actually nothing. Okay, I need to stop complaining. We only have a little bit left to go and then like one little pond. <laughs> what am I complaining about? We're almost done. Incredible. Oh no, 59%. <laughs> Guys, I hate to say it, but I think the shoes stay on. It looks like the shoes are staying on. But guys, worms don't have toes. I know. As much as you try to appeal to the, the shoe lovers, I don't know. They don't seem to realize that worms don't have toes and that worms would want to be more in tune with the earth. They just like the toe shoes. And I don't know why. <laughs> oh, goodness. This is so successful. Except I wish that you could just use the cliff thing and get rid of the water all in one kind of action uh, it's really annoying that we have to fill the river in and then do that but it's fine worms don't have legs okay fair fair enough but consider this i am a worm and each of my legs is a worm checkmate <laughs> what now that's three worms for the price of one 
And I know that doesn't make sense, but legs are kind of worm-like, I would say. They have the qualities of a worm. Every toe is a worm. No! <laughs> Use my own logic against me. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, we're almost done. Filling in the river. Wait, you like the shoes? No, I don't like the shoes. I think that they're horrific. And I didn't even want to buy them, but I knew that everybody was going to make me buy them. And now they're just a thing. Such sadness I feel in my heart. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to do a planning stream where we think about where we want everything to go. Like, I have a map i actually did this is also a little insider info but i've been planning on like a little stardew island that i think would be cute because i started having the idea of like pairing villagers well which obviously started with olaf the anteater guy that looks like elliot and then i was like wait that would be so fun if i did like a stardew island and then like we went on villager hunts for each different villager and they made like the different builds around town kind of surrounding their house so i've been planning that for like months and months and i have a map of what i've come up with and i think that if we do a similar thing for this island it could be really easy to kind of execute what we want to do you know i think that'd be fun like just planning and like because it's also hard because even though we know kind of the builds we want to do, like we want to do a compost build, we want to do a little bit of like a mushroom thing, we want to do um, a garden thing, as I think it was Kirsty mentioned. So, but then it's a matter of like where those all fit in and like where they go. So just kind of for that, you know? Everybody just keeps saying that one toe is <laughs> one worm. <laughs> I regret it all. Wait, Charlie, if you never talk to Harvey, he won't leave your island so he can be Harvey? Or wait, wait, here. What's, what is everybody's name? Harvey? Harv the dog could be Harvey. Do they really have the same name or am I making that up? But that's actually such a cute idea. Hmm. I actually love that. Oh my gosh. Olaf can be Elliot and Chief can be Robin. I actually have it like open. I have... <laughs> it's such like an ugly little plan. But I think it's so cute. I kind of want to like show you just a sneak peek of it. It's very, very ugly. But I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. And it'll be good. And you'll be so impressed. I think it'll be so fun. I just can't start too many islands because islands take so long and they're so involved. But I think I'm pretty proud of the the idea that I have of the island. It's not even anything special, but it just kind of it's just like I love the idea of it. And the villagers, I've gone through the list of like every villager in the game so many times trying to think of like which ones would fit. And this is what I have so far. I'll just put it up and then I'll take it off in a bit. Let me get it. Let me get it. Where? Is it this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. There we go. So. Is. Look at it. Look at it. Isn't it kind of good? Okay. I'm too excited about it. I think that. Olaf, of course, is Elliot. But then look at the look at Gus. Doesn't that look like Gus? And I feel like Monique is the perfect Pam. I don't know. This is and then I'm kind of thinking. I've been trying to plan out all the other stuff too. And you could kind of see I have like the campsite and I have the mines and like Jody. And like each house, I'm trying to choose one person. So like for Jody's house, I think that that would be. We could either do like Jody or Kent or um, one of her, or her gremlin children. What are they? Sam and Vincent. Uh, yeah, that's them. <laughs> and yeah, just kind of like 
picking one and each one is a villager, you know? I think that'd be kind of cool. I don't know. Who's Lewis? I don't... Me, I guess, because I'm the mayor. Or no, I'm not the mayor. Am I the mayor? I don't think I'm the mayor in this game. Maybe Nook is Lewis. Yeah. Um, is that Sebastian up at Robin's? Yeah, that's Sebastian! Isn't that, like, the perfect Sebastian? I think it makes so much sense. And Clint just looks like that little guy. I don't know. I thought it was pretty good. Chief should be Robin. That's the thing, though, is the Sebastian horse fits so well that I'm like... Maybe, maybe Robin is just hiding in the house. But yeah. That's my little plan. That's the little sneak peek. Goodbye. <laughs> I think it's so, it's so fun. Nook is definitely Lewis. Yeah. It just makes sense. It just makes sense. Oh my gosh. Taking these cliffs down is actually such a large, t large task. Oh, I should have done this ahead of time, but that's fine. You need to see what happens behind the scenes. You need to see what I suffer through. <laughs> oh, goodness. I love the plan, but starting a new island takes so long. Yeah, it does take a long time. That's why I was thinking, like, I have themed islands that I'd like to do, but it makes more sense to me to maybe, like, I don't know. I've seen that people, instead of starting a new island, just level the island. And, uh... Like, then they can just start from scratch, and then they get to keep all of the items, and they don't have to go through the, like, beginning tutorial again, and then they can just move out all the villagers. So I've been kind of thinking that maybe that would be better. But I don't know. But then it'd be sad because we couldn't change the name of our character or the name of the island, which is like so trivial, but it feels so important. Oh, it's fine. You're getting practice doing that now. That's true. This is true. Oh my gosh, these cliffs. Okay. Oh boy. It's weird you can put trees in your pocket but not in house storage. I've literally thought that to myself. It doesn't make any sense to me. I also think it would have been just so easy to like have a thing where you can hit the cliff and then the tree just like falls and you don't get any wood or anything. It just disappears. That would have saved like so much time for me. <sighs> but it's okay. This is the way you're intended to play the game. <laughs> yeah, who would ever want to watch a stream of someone leveling a whole island? What a dumb idea. Yeah, that's dumb. <laughs> Super dumb. Bad, bad stream. Bad stream. But I think that, um... We're making some decent progress, which is all I could have really asked for. All I really want is to just finish leveling it and finish putting down the dirt paths and I'll be satisfied. I think that that'll be enough for me. Doo -doo. Well, let's see. I don't even know. There's some a lot of cliffs on the right hand side that are... Oh my god, this is a huge island! Who just signed off on this? Oh boy. I actually find the sounds of the cliff breaking so nice to listen to. I do actually like the cliff breaking noise. It's very satisfying. It's very, it's just, it just hits. It's so good. And I'm glad you think that because you're going to hear a lot more of it. But yeah, at the very least, I think if we can get some good progress done, then I can like finish it up on my own. Like, with the little worm, uh, rivers and stuff like that. And it wouldn't be too bad. Is this weird to just keep this little water feature here? Wait, what? There's water? Wait, that's- what? But isn't that what I did on the other side? What? I want it to be symmetrical. Why is it being weird? Would it be weird to just have, like, little, um... 
little waterfalls here like with nothing connecting it oh no 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 like it does look a little weird but it's kind of also a vibe like i kind of like it i don't know maybe that's just me being odd it's kind of cool How long is this stream gonna be? Um, usually I stream for like three hours. So maybe like an hour more. I'm hoping we'll be able to get everything done in that time. It is a bit of a task though. So probably like an hour. <laughs> um, oh God. And it's 59% keep the shoes on. So I think. I'm sorry for all the, the shoe haters here, but I think we can just end the poll and keep the shoes on. <laughs> I don't think they're going anywhere. It's fine. Dude. It'll be okay. <laughs> Whoa, three hours. I know, that's the thing so weird I feel is like, I don't know, three hours to me just seems like a standard stream length, but then I think like, I don't know, maybe it's mostly just impacted by the community that i like not like grew up in but like started streaming in and like the kind of the length and way that other people streamed in the community but then i see that there's people that only stream for like one hour and i'm like what dang <laughs> what the heck i think it would be fun to experiment with doing like shorter streams which is why i scheduled and i'm so excited and i already mentioned it but i'm gonna say it again um that i think is it tomorrow? I don't even know. But we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be decorating a Stardew Barn gingerbread house for one of the streams this week. And I don't think it's gonna take like as long as a normal stream does, but it's gonna be so fun. And I'm excited. I I literally saw it at, I think it was Target or something. And I was like, I need, I need this. It's gonna be so good. And we can name all the animals and it'll be cute. I don't know. Okay, this is looking good. We're getting it done. Okay, that's backwards progress, but we're fine. Oh. One time I saw a live stream that only went for 20 minutes. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what you can get done in 20 minutes, but... That's the dream. Oh, yeah. But yeah, it is like hard to get a lot of stuff done in games. I feel like three hours kind of flies by especially like it feels so different when you're streaming or just like recording something versus when you're playing it on your own because like i don't know whenever i'm streaming like three hours sometimes feels a lot like three hours where i'm like Oof, what a stream but then other times i'll like play minecraft by myself and like 17 hours will pass 17 hours that's not a joke that's a lot of time 17 whole hours happened to me one time i played minecraft for 17 hours and then i was like what <laughs> what on earth how did i do this i don't even know how it happened but just time passes differently i feel <laughs> uh are you gonna do more stardew valley roguelike i don't know um i don't know all right has there been an update to it or is it just kind of the same thing i'm not really sure if there was like an update and there's new stuff i might check it out but i think otherwise i'm like maybe not i think that there was like a hard mode added or something so it could be fun to like revisit it i think i saw that shawnee posted a video on that at some point like a really long time ago but i don't know maybe i did really love playing the roguelike it was a lot of fun there's just so many games, though, you know? I think, like, they're Nintendo, but also just, like, indie games and... I don't know, everybody. Everybody needs to stop making so many good games because it's overwhelming. <laughs> like, there's a lot of games that I really, really want to check out. And I just, like, don't have the time to do it, and it's so sad. But one day we'll get to them all. I think that's the good thing about video games too is like even though there is a bit of like a an expiration date on some games where it's like it's popular for a bit and then it goes away 
most of the time, like the really good games, it's just kind of like, I don't know, you play it when you get to it. And those are the games that I like. I don't like feeling like, oh no, if I don't like play this game or check it out in the next like month, it's going to be gone forever, you know? I believe there's a new Undertale. What? Oh, like the Deltarune ones? Interesting. I'm, I really want to play Deltarune, but I just don't know. Like I said, so many games, so little time. <laughs> but I have been really trying to incorporate like um, people's suggestions. Like every time I posted the stream schedule, I've been like, if you have a game you want to play, leave it in the comments and perhaps we will play it. And I've been trying to incorporate them. And um, yeah, I'm basically, I did, the, for this week, we're going to be checking out Unpacking, which a lot of people were saying they wanted to see me play and i was like oh i've never even heard of that before so we're gonna be playing unpacking and then we're also gonna be playing dave the diver which i have heard of and i think is gonna be a very very fun game and it kind of feels like diet subnautica to me where it's gonna be like my preparation for playing subnautica where it's like you're diving and maybe there's scary things but it's like pixel art so it's not so bad and it's cute um but yeah i think it'll be fun it's supposed to be like an interesting game with a lot of different layers to it where I don't know, you have like kind of the diving aspect of it, but then there's a bit, little bit of a restaurant simulation kind of thing. And then it, there's also, I don't know, there's just, it, I just heard that there's a lot of layers to it. So I think it's going to be really cool. It'll be fun. Unpacking is an amazing game. Yes. I know so many people like it. And yes, will you be playing more Coral Island now that it's had its full release? I'm not even kidding you. I wanted to make a video on that like weeks ago and then I just totally forgot because I've been so busy. Oh, but I really want to. That'll probably be something that I do once December is over and I'm just kind of like, I don't know. I've been thinking that I wanted to do this whole stream month as a way to like boost my confidence in streaming and like just kind of throw myself off the deep end and like get better at it. And then in January, I might take like a little bit of a break, but then still be doing stuff, you know, like take a break from like feeling pressured to have a bunch of content and stuff out, but then like doing bigger projects, you know? So I think it'll be fun. There's so many things I've been wanting to work on. So that'll probably be like, that'll fall under the January bigger projects thing, probably. <laughs> And I really liked Coral Island too, so, you yeah, know, I think it would be fun to revisit it when the game is all done. Even though I don't think it's done. I think they're still updating it, but I don't really know. <laughs> but y'all, yeah. the bricks are important. We don't want you to burn out. That's very true. I don't want to burn out either, but we'll see. <laughs> feeling good. Uh, feeling good now. I do want to have like my i suddenly like randomly my like my parents and my brother are gonna be visiting for around christmas time and i was like oh boy i didn't factor that one in <laughs> so now i'm trying to figure out how i'm gonna organize that because i want to have like videos that i can post while they're here um but it'll be fine i'm also trying to not like take it too bad if i don't get to do a stream on a day because like I don't know. I think there were... Because, yeah. Clifford attacked me, but then I post I ended up posting a video anyway, so it was kind of like, eh, it doesn't even count. But then yesterday I went to see the movie and I didn't have anything ready, really. And then there was one other day where I think I was just really, really sick, so I took it off. But it's like, if I'm sick, I want to not feel sad about it. I want to just be like, it's okay. I'm sick today and that's fine. And I think even if I don't end up posting or streaming on like every single day in December, I'll still be very proud of myself for, I don't know, streaming and posting for a lot of it. Because I'm usually so inconsistent with streams and stuff like that. But I've, it's been really fun because I, I was kind of talking with another creator recently about it. But I think like, um, I've always thought of myself as a content creator less than a streamer like some people i think of as like oh they're streamers but they also make content on youtube but i feel like i'm like a youtube content creator but then i also stream 
but it's been kind of interesting because I feel like I've kind of flipped it around and now I feel like oh I get what it feels like to be a streamer kind of and like the way that you have to prepare for that or like the mindset of thinking oh a gingerbread house would be so fun to do on stream instead of like thinking in terms of something that could be turned into a video like thinking of something that could just be a stream so I think it's gonna be it's interesting it's changing my way of thinking and it's a good challenge <laughs> but that's enough of me yammering on about Un unimportant, uninteresting things. <laughs> but it has been good. Are you going to stream on Christmas? I don't really know. I think for sure I'm not going to be streaming on Christmas Eve. Because I really like Christmas Eve. Or if I do, then it'll be like a really short one probably. Because I have a bunch of stuff that I have to do. Um, But yeah, I'm not really sure. I still have to kind of figure it out. I'm kind of just trying to take things one day at a time, which is inconvenient because then I have to make a stream schedule and then I'm like, oh boy, seven days. I couldn't even do one. <laughs> but we'll see. Just keep an eye out for the schedules and it's good. Like one of those 20 minute streams we just heard about. Exactly. I'll just log on and be like, hey guys, uh, Christmas tomorrow. If you celebrate Christmas, that's pretty nutty, huh? Okay, bye. <laughs> Okay, good to see ya. But I'm really excited about the streams we're doing this week because, like I mentioned, um, Dave the Diver and Unpacking are going to be super fun to play, and I love uh, checking out stuff that you guys recommend. But we're also going to be finishing our 100% Mario Wonder playthrough, which is really, really exciting. Um, and maybe opens up a slot for another Mario game, like perhaps Odyssey? I didn't say it. I don't know. I just really want to play Mario Odyssey. And I'm really proud of that. I feel like definitely um, Mario Wonder was not as hard to 100% as Mario 3D World. Mario 3D World took me like months. Like it was a lot. But it was still really, really fun. So lots of stuff. And I also am going to, like I said in the community post, we're going to be finishing our decoration of all the quinoa villager houses too so lots to do very fun times to be had does it really go out all that way okay oh my gosh this is taking an eternity maybe i think what i'm gonna do is instead of trying to tackle the cliffs now maybe i'll just cover the ground that we already have with dirt and then if we have the time, we can continue working on the cliffs, but I'm just thinking this is a lot of cliffs. This is a lot more than I anticipated. And it takes a lot of time. Hmm. Uh, I'm doing 100% for Mario 3D World with my mom, and it's been almost a year. Some Mario games are so hard for what? I will say, I love Mario 3D World. But it really just felt like you would finish everything, and you'd be like, yeah, I'm pretty good. And then they'd be like, Oh, new secret world, like, four times. But it was really fun. It was a good experience. But okay, I think... Oh, oh I can do a little poll. Hold on. Um, what should we do? I'll say finish cliffs first, then dirt. Or, uh, continue dirt, then cliffs. Because we... We have a lot of stuff to do. We've got a lot of leveling to do. A lot of dirt placing. But it's up to you, as most things are. Do, do, do. Finish cliffs first, then dirt is winning. Oh, what a turn of events. I did not think that would win. There are a lot of cliffs. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> oh, goodness. I like the crunchy sound of cliff destruction, so I say first. Yeah, fair. Fair. I do like the sound of the cliffs breaking. I think that it's very satisfying. A lot more so than just, like, painting on the ground. <laughs> I'm voting dirt solely for your mental health. Yeah. It's gonna be a time. But it's like a chill stream. We're just chilling out, doing some terraforming, and I kind of like that. It's a good change of pace. 
Oh, goodness. There's another thing up there? What the heck? Oh, is that the little pond thing that I saw? Probably. I don't even know the best way to do this. I think, like, there's a satisfying way to do it where you could start from the bottom and then work your way down, but instead I'm just kind of doing whatever. I'm just making little worm tunnels and then going in and, like, finishing them off. Going from the outside in and taking it in little chunks. Uh, why are you making your island flat slash leveling it? Essentially, uh, we're going for a worm core island where we want the first level to be the underground and the second level to be the overground kind of area. So, I don't know. We're just trying... It just seems easier to start with a flat island and then work our way up in that way. Um, but we're going to be adding cliffs later, so fret not. We will have cliffs. Doo -doo. You look more like a worm in these tunnels. That's true. I am kind of in my element as a worm right now. It also makes me sad, though, because when the camera flips up, the music gets quieter. Or is it just that I'm at the top of the island? I don't know. But I miss the music. It might be that I'm at the top of the island. <laughs> Shows what I know. Oh, no! Oh, boy. That element being dirt. That is true. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, everybody's saying cliffs first. So, I'm gonna start... I'm gonna take on a little bit of, of a different cliff project and I'm gonna start um, getting rid of these trees up here. Just because it's annoying. And then we'll go in little... That's another thing. Annoying. On the list of annoying things in Animal Crossing that make me upset. It's okay, though. Stream lagging? Oh, it is? I don't see anything on my side. So... I don't know. It might be a YouTube thing. Sometimes YouTube is... A little bit finicky with streams okay i'm trying let's let's just take all these out at the same time <laughs> and then we have to get rid of the flowers and get rid of the fossil it'll be good it did for a bit but it's back now oh my gosh it's so weird it was a youtube thing not your wi-fi yeah youtube just sometimes i don't know it just happens but that's okay, because you didn't miss much, I'm gonna be honest. We we got rid of a couple cliffs and, um, I don't know, chopped down some trees. You know the vibe of today's stream. You didn't miss a thing. <laughs> oh. Get rid of this stump. Do, 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 da. Get rid of that stump. <laughs> Do we have the most upgraded pockets we can have? I don't think we do. Oh, crud. I didn't want to pick that. I don't think we do. It would be helpful to have more upgraded pockets, but also it's a lot. Um, how are you spending the holidays? Is there any special slash traditional food you're looking forward to? Oh, that's such a great question. Um, I don't really know. I Like I said, my family is going to be visiting, which is going to be a lot of fun. And generally, like, we celebrate Christmas and just kind of open up little gifts and kind of hang out. Um, nothing really all that wild. I do have, I eat the same thing for Christmas every year, which is like this fennel pasta, super yummy dish. And like the first year I just made it because I was like, oh, that seems like something that would be kind of yummy for like a special holiday thing. Um... I'm not going to be able to get this flower. Why did I even try? But now it's just like it reminds me of Christmas. So now I just have it every single year. <laughs> so that's pretty much it, honestly. <laughs> Is Piper alive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Piper's fine. Piper's probably trapped in her house. I'm going to be honest. We do have... um, <laughs> We do have some pretty serious fences around Piper's house. Seeing as she is a bird. But she's fine. She's fine. And she can honestly fly out. So it's okay. She'll be all right. 
Uh, do you play board slash card games or anything like that? I don't know. We don't really have like a very like we don't have the same kind of stuff that we do every year. We don't really have traditions in that sense, I feel. More like putting up the tree and stuff like that, but generally we do have a lot of board games that we like to play, and I've found a lot of really good board games this year that I'm going to force them to play, even if they don't want to. Like, um, Seven Wonders. Such a good board game. What the heck? If you haven't heard of it, you should look into it. And then, um... I think it's called Forbidden Island. So I'm going to force them to play those games. <laughs> and it'll be a lot of fun. And sometimes we usually like the Christmas tradition is like we would always get like a video game for Christmas and it was generally a Mario game. So we would play Mario all as a family. So I did get um, the Mario Party Ultimate or something the other day. So we'll probably play that too and be really mad at each other by the end of the day. <laughs> so yeah, just kind of like, I don't know whatever feels like fun at the time oh my gosh i am demolishing these cliffs look at this this is such a nice piece of real estate i can't wait to dirtify it <laughs> oh my gosh amazing and 68 percent of people say that we should finish the cliffs and then do the dirt and i respect you that i do respect that but i kind of just want to do a little dirt for a bit just to shake things up and because this is just a very nice open area and i think it would look nice if it had dirt in it i don't know i don't know it's just very very satisfying i don't like this top of the island though because the water sounds make the music quieter and then it's just it's just quiet and weird just don't play monopoly at christmas that's very true I feel like Mario Party is almost as bad as Monopoly though, so probably we'll play Mario Wonder. <laughs> because I don't want them to leave early. <laughs> I played Mario Party with some of my friends the other day. I forgot how bad it gets when you play Mario Party. Not fun. Like, it was... <laughs> I was not having fun. Because for some reason I just kept getting targeted and they kept stealing all my stars. I would work so hard to get stars and then they would just get immediately stolen. And I'm like, why even play? Why even play? Toadette, why? Tell me why. <laughs> but yeah, Mario Party's brutal. I do like playing Monopoly though when it's like the themed Monopolies. I'm a huge themed Monopoly enjoyer. Like I have the Animal Crossing Monopoly and the zelda monopoly star wars monopoly i'm honestly more familiar like i grew up playing monopoly um in the star wars version so everybody else has like an association with like oh boardwalk or what even are they uh oh what what even are the na regular monopoly names i don't know like boardwalk to me is just strictly coruscants and like Yo Yoda, like Dagobah and all of the different things and like the moisture farms instead of the trains and stuff. And I just can't read. I can't fix that. One Direction Monopoly? Stop. Wait, is that real? One Direction Monopoly? <laughs> Stop, I'm buying that. I'm actually buying that today. As soon as I finish the stream, I'm buying One Direction Monopoly for Christmas. I grew up with Shrek Monopoly. Shrek Monopoly, that's incredible. I've always wanted to play the Pokemon Monopoly and I still have not played it, which is so lame of me, you know? It's just that like, ugh, the Monopolies that are themed are so expensive. They're like 50, 60, sometimes $70. And for what? Just so that instead of Park Place and all of those things, I get to see like, I don't know, Liam Payne, street what is it how can it be one direction monopoly i need it i need it in my life but it's so worth it and i think it's kind of cool too because the um animal crossing monopoly is actually like a whole different game pretty much which i think is really cool instead of just like changing all the names and having basically the same game but it's a little bit themed they really shook it up and i appreciate that worth every penny <laughs> oh goodness Do, 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 do. Look how nice this dirt looks. I like the dirt. 
It's been two and a half hours of putting down dirt, and I still like it. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> you guys are such troopers for hanging in there through this stream. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh. How much have we even gotten done? I, I'm afraid to look, but I think it's necessary. Oh, that's actually a lot. You can kind of see, like, in the top, we've... We have a huge valley there now, and we've gotten a good amount of dirt down. Okay, that actually made me motivated, less so than upset. Oh, this is okay. We do have to move the buildings too, though, which is going to be a whole other thing. But, like I've said a bajillion times, we will, or I will, do that later. <laughs> and then you won't have to, you know deal with it i need something boring to consume since i finished my exams well boy is this the stream for you <laughs> do you like dirt do you do you like sitting and watching the same thing for three hours well have i got the stream for you my dirt and leveling the island stream made specifically for very passive enjoyment okay Please stop doing that. Animal Crossing needs to fix this. I hope that somebody from Nintendo watches this stream and realizes the pain that they've put us through. <laughs> oh god. Oh, somebody mentioned Shrek Monopoly being what they grew up with. For me, I had Shrek Operation. I didn't even know Operation came in like a regular manner. All I knew was the Shrek one. <laughs> and it made little Shrek noises when you, like, hit the outer rim of the thing. What's it called? The, like, little metal part? I don't know. It made, like, Shrek pain noises, and it was kind of weird. But I just never even knew there was a normal operation. Do you think the guy in Operation has a name? Like, who is that guy? I need to know all the Operation lore. I feel like I don't know enough about that game. Oh boy. I'm like craving operation now. I don't know. I just remembered that was a game and now I'm now I'm into it. Now I'm like, wait a minute. I want to do the little rubber bone rubber. What is it called? It's like a rubber band, but it acts as like something. I don't even know. I think that's the most Charlie core childhood tidbit I've ever heard. Yes, that is. Yes, that is very on brand for me, I would say. is Shrek Operation. <laughs> oh my gosh. Google says his nickname is Cavity Sam. Ew, what the heck, man? Why not just Sam? Why Cavity Sam? <laughs> I guess because he has little cavities in him, but like, you don't have to remind him. Jeez. Sam. Fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so tired of this dirt path. Why can't it just be done? I just have to keep telling myself that it's going to be so satisfying when it's done. Oh, goodness. His parents made questionable choices. Yeah, like, how did Cavity Sam end up being the way that he is? Who thought up Cavity Sam? I don't know. Board games are so weird. Like... I can't imagine being a person that develops board games because I think it would be really cool, but then also really difficult. Like, how do you make it make sense? I don't know. It's kind of like pirate names like Peg Leg Bill. That's true. It does sound like a pirate name. Oh, speaking of which, another childhood thing that I was reminded of the other day that gave me a little nostalgia flashback kind of thing. Um, Hippie Longstocking? Did anybody else watch Hippie Longstocking as a kid? Because I remembered that existed and I was like, <gasps> Hippie Longstocking. She sleeps upside down and her dad is a pirate or something and she's from Egypt or something. Hippie Longstocking, yes. So weird. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Longstocking makes me feel the same way as, like, Papa- the Papa's games makes me feel. 
I loved Pippi Longstocking. Yes! I wanted to be her. I know. She's so cool. She is very... I don't know. She marches to the beat of her own drum, and I respect Pippi Longstocking for that. Okay, I think that we've placed a lot of dirt paths. I'm not sure... Oh, maybe we should go back to the cliffs. I am not gonna lie to you, I expected to be able to do this all in one stream, but then I realized that we have to level the cliffs, and if I had known that, I would have done it ahead of time, but here we are. <laughs> oh, goodness. I think my sister might have had some of her books. Yeah, I read the books too. I also was a big Junie B. Jones fan. Um, I don't know why. I read all the Junie B. Jones books, and I was so into, like, I think it was Harriet the Spy, and Harriet the Spy had like a little notebook that she wrote down all of her little spy notes in. And I was so inspired that I started my own little spy notebook and I would write like, I don't even know, like the most random stuff in it, like trying to be Harriet the Spy. It does it didn't make any sense. But yes, those are little juicy lore tidbits about my childhood. <laughs> Oh, gosh. This is such a task. I'm only just now realizing I might not be able to do this all in one stream. Because we have only like 20 minutes left. I don't know if this is getting done in 20 minutes. Well, I mean, at the very least, it'll be fun because you were here for the beginning of it. You know, like most of the work. And then... Well, maybe I'll like do it all on my own all the like boring awful parts and then you'll come back and you'll be like whoa no way <laughs> and it'll be good Doo -doo. Doo -doo. okay do this go up here up the tree oh my gosh horrible histories I love horrible histories I was just thinking about that. That was like the best show of all time. Stop, I freaking love Horrible Histories. I, it was on Hulu and I started binging it a really long time ago and I want to watch it again. I love that show. And Goosebumps too. I'm a big Goosebumps fan. And I was as a kid, I read like all of them. And Magic Treehouse. I was a big Magic Treehouse kid too. We had a Horrible Histories Club in primary school. Oh my god, I want to join so bad. I want to join so bad. That sounds so fun. <laughs> Horrible Histories Club. Incredible. Whoa. Only now did I just realize the scale of everything we've been doing on the island. What the heck? Wow. Horrible Histories Silo Movie Night. That would be so fun. I actually... I made like a little tiny horrible histories joke in my Cult of the Lamb video because of the one where he's like, another crusade, like the crusade episode. I kind of, I kind of made a little joke about that, but nobody got it because I didn't make it very obvious. But in my head, I was like, mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm, paying homage to horrible histories. Oh gosh, I hate when the flowers are stuck on just one cliff and then you have to do all this work just for one. Tom Nook is gonna faint when he sees this island. We won't let him see it. He never comes outside anyway. He's fine. But yes, I think he would have a bit of an issue. Um, <laughs> He's like, I take you to an island to try and develop something beautiful, a community, if you will, and instead you destroy everything cut down all the trees cover it in dirt and then make little trash builds what is wrong with you and if i were tom nook i'd be mad too <laughs> oh goodness um why doesn't she have snow in her animal crossing uh we are currently in october i think i'm keeping the the island in a bit of a fall time because i think that a fall vibe would be very, very nice. It kind of matches because also we're going to be using a lot of mushroom items. 
But then also I just really like the color of the fall trees and the fall grass. And I never get to enjoy the fall for some reason. I feel like I've never spent more than like a couple days in the fall in Animal Crossing. So I've decided to make it perpetually fall. And yeah, worms don't like the winter because we can't burrow and stuff. We can't do our little wormy activities, you know? It's just not the time. <laughs> oh gosh, I wonder how much the bell, bell value the island has lost at this point. To be fair, it was a three-star island. I don't know if you could say the same for it now. I would be very curious to see what Isabel has to say. But yeah, it'll get better. It'll get better. It's not even like... I don't know. It is not... It's not conventional. It is bad right now. But it's different. You know? It's different. And that's what we want. We, we like the different, the doing, doing new things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> One star now, do you think? That would be kind of funny if it was. I want to check. Because we do have like a buttload of items just sitting out on the ground. We're destroying everything. It's probably one star. <laughs> okay, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Ba -da -da -da. Do, do, da. This is going great. I am become worm destroyer of islands. I know. I turn into a worm and suddenly the power just goes to my head. I don't know why. It's just the way it is. Okay, we need to handle this. It's not making me happy to see these little tree islands. And I don't know why I didn't just cut them down to begin with. I'm a fool and I know it, but it's fine. It's fine. Nothing we can't fix. Okay, one done. Ah, <sighs> two done. There's something about Animal Crossing 2. I know that I'm complaining so much today. Frick off. But it's it's warranted. I'm suffering a little, but also having a good time, but suffering. But yesterday I, I was going to see Wonka, but I had to take a little screenshot of our little worm island and I turned on the game like I clicked on it so that I clicked on the profile on the switch and it started loading up. And then I was like, OK, I'll let that load and I'll come back. And I literally got ready to go to the like I got dressed and I like, I don't know, got entirely ready, packed up all my stuff, filled my water bottle, put my contraband snacks into my bag and like was entirely ready to go. And I came back and the game had just loaded. And I don't even know how it was possible. I was like, are you kidding me right now? Like, it takes so long to load. It takes forever. I don't even know. But it's fine because I love the game and it's great. And I don't know why I'm complaining so much today. It's just that this process of cliff destruction and path laying could have been so simple. But it's not. But look at that. That open space. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. I'm actually so excited. It's going to be so cool to have this fully done. Eh, Got to get up here. And then did I sell the stuff in my pocket? Oh, yes, I did. Okay. Got to get these flowers. <laughs> okay, get rid of this. Contraband snacks. Bad Charlie go to movie jail. What? like everybody brings snacks in i also feel like i i resent the like i understand that movie theaters only make money from the concessions but i also think that they're not very inclusive with the concessions that they provide like when i was on a keto diet and i would go to the movies like what do you expect me to do starve as i sit there for two no i went to see wakanda forever you think i'm gonna sit there for like three freaking hours and not eat no like, 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 you can't get mad at me for bringing in, like, chocolate chips and walnuts because you're not inclusive. <laughs> like, and also they're so expensive. But I just, like, 
I don't know. I don't want to eat candy. I want to eat a fruit leather. Sell a fruit leather and I'll buy your fruit leather. But you don't, so I bring it. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. I find movie theaters, like, are such an underdeveloped thing, I feel. Like, they could do so much better. I feel like they could be making so much more if they just, like, put better snacks and, like, I don't know, catered a little bit more to... A, a larger group of people than just like candy and stuff. <laughs> when I saw Sonic 2, I got two packs of Sour Patch Kids and a medium slushy. It was 11 pounds. It's bad. I thought like I bought a popcorn when I went to see um, the new Hunger Games movie a little while ago. I spent like $11 on simply a popcorn and that was it. And I don't know how, and I don't know why. It was not good. It was not good. They're gonna have to do a lot better. A lot of people are staying home to stream stuff now. I mean, I see it's just more comfortable. And I can't like, I know I'm so spoiled by saying this, but I just can't be in a movie theater now that doesn't have the reclined seats. Like my back starts hurting so bad. I'm so ancient. I'm like, what? You expect me to sit up straight? No, I want a bed. I want to, I want to, I want to lay down, but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. I just, sorry. I just had a moment where I was like, is Clifford behind the curtain? Because sometimes he does. And I saw it like move slightly, but I don't think he's here. <laughs> oh, goodness. Once went to a movie theater that had recliners. Yeah. I just feel like the recliners are so like standard now. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'm just spoiled, maybe. I'm just so used to the rec reclining seats. But yeah, I, I don't know. I just feel so strongly about it. Like if they sold healthier, better snacks, I would buy it. Well, well, I don't know. Maybe I would buy them in theory, depending on the price. It's just so like, I don't like the same. I don't want to eat candy all the time sometimes i just want to eat like my little baggie of cereal <laughs> i don't know i do think it's cool though the movie theaters where they have like um meals kind of where you can buy like pizza or like boneless buffalo wings i saw one the one of the ones i think the one i saw wonka and they had impossible nuggets and i was like are you kidding me that's so cool that's inclusive that's what i call inclusion baby impossible nuggets and that same one had some of the like low sugar uh like gummies too and i was like this is what i'm talking about yes and at a 10 theater <laughs> but i don't know maybe that's just me that thinks that oh no <laughs> oh boy what a task we've taken on it's gonna be good I actually really like that this is open. I've never seen like the back um, beaches on my islands before because I never have it this flat. But it's really pretty when you can see it. We got to do something here. I actually like that a lot. Oh. Okay, I've got to check the progress. It's just taking forever. I want to know. Oh, that's kind of good. It's kind of good. We've done over half. I don't know. I can't decide. Here. Okay, finish cliffs first, then dirt is the winner. I'm gonna do another poll. <laughs> okay, what should I do? Or like, what would you prefer? Another leveling stream? Or I do the boring stuff off camera <laughs> what would you prefer would you want to do another stream where we finish this together before we go on our villager hunt or would you prefer that i just do it and then you don't have to deal with it because it's your choice i don't want to take it away from you if you enjoy the process of this i don't know the answer may shock you i am a little shocked what the heck <laughs> I thought this was like the most boring stream of all time. I don't know. I get so like in my own head about like wanting people to be entertained where like, I don't know. I just never thought anybody would want to watch me put dirt on the ground for three hours. So thank you. 
it has been a fun a fun journey for sure oh boy and we are almost done i'm really excited to do another villager hunt though because i really like um doing those i like seeing all the villagers and i like just chit chatting it's just a good time oh my gosh this is just like a three hour skull cavern run you're not wrong it is just basically me doing a menial like task while also talking about random stuff <laughs> oh boy it is fun lots of dirt lots of dirt can you imagine going on a surprise island tour and this is the island you see wait there's surprise dream tours are you kidding wait are you talking about like the dream islands <gasps> oh my gosh wait and shadow kiwi oh my gosh thank you so much for gifting a membership what the heck that is so kind of you thank you wait so like you can lay in the bed with with luna or whatever the heck and then it'll bring you to a random island so somebody could possibly come here is that what you're saying because i don't know how the dream island thing works and if that is true that's hilarious to me that's actually so funny i would i would lose my mind actually It's just completely dirt. That would be so bad. Oh boy. I mean, it would be interesting. I feel like you would land and you'd be like, hmm, interesting. You can ask her to surprise you. Incredible. I love that. That'd be kind of an interesting, I didn't know you could do that, but it would be kind of interesting to like visit like four surprise dream islands or something and then try and like combine themes from them or something like that as like a little challenge that'd be interesting <laughs> tom nook looking out the window that just sent me that's so funny <laughs> it is this beautiful lush wild island is now just a barren wasteland covered in dirt ah it's okay It's ultimately for the greater good. I think he'll find that many more people would rather be residents of the place when it's in worm mode. And I think that genuinely it's going to be a cool island. Like, I don't know. I have a lot of faith that we can like pull something really cool together. But I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe I have too much faith. I think it'll be really cool. Do, 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 do. This is just ridiculous. It's not a wasteland. It's prime worm real estate. You're right. It's not a wasteland. There's lots to be had here. It's beautiful. It makes me emotional a little bit. Just dirt as far as the eye can see. It's nice. And even though it's a lot, I just keep coming back to this. It's going to feel so good when it's finished and we can just run around on a flat dirt island. That's going to be so amazing. I can't wait. Oh, no. Wait, let us see the map. Yeah, we can check the map. How are we doing? Um, hmm. We're getting there. We're getting there. You know what really scares me is the whole right side cliff area. That's a lot of cliff. Um, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm a big fan of that. At the very least, though, we can do this. There is a balloon. I don't have a slingshot, so I apologize. What is... Why do we have a nook mile thing? What did I, what did I do? Trash tools. Okay, lovely. This is what I'm saying. We just get so many free nook miles. Oh, shop to it. Nice. I'm an internet surfer now. <gasps> Island designer. Nice. Okay, and then we got two of these. What fun. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, gosh. Actually, the lighter dirt looks better. Can we change it now? I am never changing it. <laughs> never. Can you imagine if I decided that the lighter dirt was better and I was like, let's redo it. Let's redo it. No. No. I don't have the... I can do it once, but I cannot do it twice. I do not have the, the patience for that. Oh, goodness. Oh, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. 68% of people would want to see another leveling stream. Are you kidding? That is so kind of you. To want to hang out for something so boring as that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we can do another one then. I think though... I will say I'm probably going to clear off the cliffs. I'll, like, I'll probably move all the buildings and then take all the flowers and stuff off just so it's like less annoying. Um, but yeah, we can do another one. I mean, we have over half of the island done, but there's lots more to do. Yay! So fun. <laughs> The ground goes chacho junk. <laughs> it really does. It is a nice noise, I will say. But yeah. So, we have actually had a very productive stream today because we, first of all, have, like, leveled a lot of it. Mo like, I don't know if I should say most of it, but we leveled a lot of the island, added a bunch of dirt paths... And brought down a, a like just a ton of cliffs like a lot of cliffs and we also decided that the next villager hunt we're gonna be going for apples um which is an interesting choice but i i get it i get it i get the rationale as a worm as a fellow worm i do understand so yeah we can do another little stream where we put down dirt and terraform and then we'll have another stream where we try and find apples which is very fun And you know, I, I felt like it was a lot and I think it is a lot, but then I said it out loud and it didn't sound like a lot. So just believe me, it's a lot, <laughs> you know, <laughs> a lot of work has gone into this dirt laying. Do Sable and Mabel eat worms? I think technically yes, but I choose to believe no, because I don't know if my little heart could take it. And also, we can't get rid of the Able Sisters. <laughs> like, we physically cannot do that, so... I just have to believe it's not so. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Fear the Able Sisters, destroyers of the worm world. Can you imagine? Oh my gosh. That would be so sad. But I think that they're fine. They're like trained hedgehogs or something. Are they hedgehogs? I think they're hedgehogs. They're civilized. They would never do that to us. Oh, goodness. You should make a sped up version of this video for the satisfaction. That's true. I just feel like I didn't do it in a very satisfying way. Like, I kind of jumped around from place to place. But I think if I had done it in a more uniform way, it would have been really cool to do a time lapse. But unfortunately, I'm actually foolish, so... That's totally my bad. <laughs> this is looking really good, though. This is so absurd. I cannot believe we're doing this. It's so good. I love it. Let's see. Is there a spot? Yes. Wow. How far? Oh, my gosh. Okay. So... I will end this poll. We will do another leveling stream for certain. I will prepare a little bit for it so we're not dealing with all of the annoying like trees and flowers and stuff. But it will be fun. And I think that we should end off today by just looking at the progress we've made, you know? Ready? So we'll start here. Dirt. This dirt patch is mighty fine. I like this one a lot. And then all the way over here jump over the worm river all of this is dirt this is absurd i feel like i just zoned out for this whole three hour stream this is absurd we did this 
Oh my god. And then all the way down. Oh my god. I just, how did we do this? I feel like I wasn't even here. Oh my gosh, this is a lot of dirt. Oh wow. And then all of the oh my god we're such monsters but it's all for the greater worm good oh wow it looks good it looks really good i didn't realize how much progress we've made today but that looks so good oh my gosh well that is so satisfying just to look at but I think that that's going to be the end of today's stream. Thank you again for being here and hanging out. I very much appreciate it. And I, can't, I literally cannot believe that so many people would sit here and hang out with me for a stream where I'm putting down dirt. Oh, and people want me to check the town rating. I can go do that as our little finale. But genuinely, thank you so much. What the heck? I really appreciate it. And I had a lot of fun just hanging out, putting dirt down. And it was fun. It was very, very fun. And let us see. Is it... Did we go down from three stars? Most likely, yes. But I just need to know. I need to know. <sighs> and luckily, Nook's window kind of faces the other way. Well, my house is that way. So no, never mind. He can definitely see what we're doing. Okay. Oh, and we can enact ordinances now. So we could do that in the future. If you guys have like an ordinance that you want to uh, enact. That would be really fun. Okay. Island evals. <laughs> we lost a star. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh, our rating has fallen since the last time you checked. Allow me to read an excerpt. Okay, okay. Uh huh. The place has nothing going on. It needs more hustle and bustle. It is just completely dirt yes you have a point but still um that's hurtful <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> boo isabel you just don't understand art no taste no taste and too many items cluttering the ground okay shut it shut it yes okay well <laughs> it has plenty going on and to be fair i think that that criticism is a little bit misplaced there's a lot going on Maybe not in the way that they want there to be, but there's a lot going on. Wow. What a successful stream. We actually genuinely did so much work. <laughs> wow. I love this dirt patch. This one just makes me so happy. It's just so complete. It feels so good. But like I said, this is going to be the end of the stream. Thank you so, so much for hanging out. I had a lot of fun. I hope you had a lot of fun too. And, um, I'm going to be doing another stream tomorrow of the We're going to be making our Stardew Barn Gingerbread House. So, if that sounds fun, you should definitely come and hang out for that as well. But I hope you have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your night, whatever it is, where you are. And I will see you guys next time. So, bye! <laughs> see ya! Bye! Dirt! <laughs>